last and threatens the fastest weapon You wouldn't make it past a second and that's the question Play it brash and reckless or choose a cautious solution you thought was prudent In any sepulcher, poker tube will become the putrid It's that wealth that I'm pursuing No mountain too steep or dungeon too deep To send expendable marks up to the top of the peak of beneath They see you bleed, they come like sharks to it While I swim in that money bin like Carl Barks drew it So send your national parks drew it I'll send them home in a natural box with a closed top And most of the parts included <sighs> Save your breath for a cleric confessor Death is a lesson and life is a tenured professor. But if you're seeking my official advice, sign on the dotted line and mission the twice. Masturbates to him. Hello. Oh. That's why you liked it? Hello. Uh, I'm Taco Brahe, again, uh, of Pan Arcade Pax. Uh, I'm also a manifest hero. We're drawn CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated. But today, I'm Jeffrey K. Horkrims. You're in it, friend. And I'm here to run a game for my friends, uh, specifically these friends. To my right, Dragonborn Narcissist, Denar Blitzen. Truncated. Yay. Yeah. Mm. Yes, it's me. It's me. Clap, clap, clap. Three claps and that's it. No, just one clap. Actually, from here on, yeah, one clap. One clap per oh, friend. Okay. Okay? Okay. okay. Th this is like old, like, <clears throat> I get the most. Was anybody in debate? Yeah. That was, that's like what they, I don't know. <laughs> it's from debate. Uh, to the right of my right, repping the natural world, oh Walnut Dawn, Grass, Kill, Craw. Kill, All right. Um, <laughs> to, Craw. <laughs> Uh, to my left, not your grandma's grandma, except in those rare cases where she is your grandma's grandma. The furious. It does happen, Rosie B. Singer. Uh, All right, I like yeah. that. But it's like, but, but, but like whatever you've manipulated, it's like you sneak up on it on yeah, the end yeah, like yeah. this. Yeah, I generated it. Hut, now it's dead. <clears throat> it's intense, is what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, to the left of my left, uh, emerging as though from a mist shroud, Kathris Straub. <clears throat> hey, we got that one. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, it worked out very good. Um, and as I suggested before, worked out well. We'll just we'll. <laughs> Superman it got does you good. there. Superman though. does good. Okay. Uh, <laughs> as I suggested previously, we should do the whole thing. It sounds like there was an issue with the, the whole internet. I guess um, our enemies even now act against us. Um, so, as I suggested previously, um, franchises can have a little montage as a treat. Okay. Yes. I'm ready. Um, <clears throat> and so, uh, purely uh, for, as a change of pace, uh, experience time as time passes, uh, you decide to come back from the holy city of Jannar, uh, the long way, which is to say, uh, unaided uh, by the travel, of the mystical travel analog uh, capacity acoustic acoustic that you have, um, and. Uh, as you uh, round the final bend uh, that takes you to uh, Red Larch, a notable city, uh, certainly in recent years, uh, there's been a, a Tiamat incursion uh, that, mm. I mean, the, the, the main ongoing effect of which was a minor alteration to the sign uh, for, for <laughs> visitors coming from the south. Uh, Red Larch, the town that defeated the dragon. Um, but you're not coming in from that side. Uh, you are approaching from the north. Um, and in previous uh, return visits, uh, you had seen that the uh, Red Larch Forest uh, had continually grown more immense uh, until it required uh, people working essentially whenever possible just to keep the road open. The road is now open consistently, it would appear, there's no one actively uh, uh, engaging in that task, but apparently the trees decided on a unique strategy uh, after that one stopped working. It, they were content simply to take up most of the rest of the space. The only reason why there's uh, a road <laughs> at all is because of like a form of crown shyness. Yeah. It's like they've just... You can have that. We don't want to be there anymore. <laughs> ultimately, uh, forests are nothing if not pragmatic. Um, ultimately, uh, the decision at the root level, at uh, that that great conclave, it's a part of a tree um, uh, <clears throat> beneath the earth. No, it, I'll show you. I'll show you. Sometimes you can see them near the. Uh, it's crazy. I'm going to show uh, you the root. No, we'll do it. Um, they are now virtually everywhere else, <clears throat> and so. Uh, as spring has returned, uh, there's a, a light foggy mist and the town of Red Larch itself is 
visible in almost a ghostly light um, as you approach uh, individual uh, lanterns uh, out in front of homes and businesses just sort of reach out through this uh, new forest. That sounds spooky. I, it seems spooky to me uh, too. Yeah. Like a <clears throat> crane. This is ideal. Yeah, this is the, this is the <laughs> optimal scenario. All we need now is less buildings. Location, location, location. Are, are the trees front. destroying the buildings at all? No, they appear to have arrived at something like an equilibrium. Okay. They're just growing where they will not be chopped. <laughs> Ah, okay. okay. Uh, and so there's so there's a, a significant tolerance uh, now, uh, even between homes, they have come to something like a a tacit agreement. Finally, people so. living in harmony with the forest. <laughs> That's what I've always wanted. That's what I've been crying about for three years. Wait, do you say this? Yes. <laughs> What's the montage? Uh, yeah, we just showed up. We just showed up. It's a travel montage. Yeah. It's very uh, brief. It's, okay. a, it's, a, it's a one-to-one <laughs> montage. Yeah. It's us getting in a cart and then arriving at <laughs> a place. It's a real Classic montage. montage. Well, all familiar. I guess all film is a montage. You think one that. of you, <laughs> one of you <laughs> is welcome to attack some beef. I mean, How however you want to However you want to do that. Get some beef. None of us remember what happened. All right. You got married. Yeah, where's my is your, wife? Is your, where's uh, your wife? Is she My here? wife. Is You're, she with me? No. Your wife, oh, much, dead? yeah, God. Your wife, Brandon. much as she suggested, uh, spends most of her time in the. So there's three main Genari cultures: the city itself, the free cities that exist at the border, um, and also the Everhome, which is a kind of uh, traveling cart city. <laughs> You're in a wrong distance relationship. Yeah, yeah. It, more or less, uh, there is there is aspects of their relationship that are sophisticated. From a public-facing PR perspective, <laughs> didn't want to get married in the first place. <laughs> kind of got forced into it. It's like I gotta go. But, well, bye, it's, baby. It was, like, it was always going to be your duty as a prince, right, yeah. to marry somebody. Thus far, yeah, maybe. thus like a yeah. bottom of the little barrel. Uh, thus far, you have found the yoke of marriage to be uh, so light mm-hmm. as to be insubstantial. <laughs> <laughs> what were we doing how, last week? Yeah. How, how has the status quo been preserved for the rest of the characters? <laughs> we just return to whatever. Yeah. Basically, it's thing season is one. Also, <laughs> it's it's season one all over again. Walnut ate her clone. No. Yeah. What Walnut's happened with clone, that? It's over. Walnut bored her whole clone. She oh. bored it wholesale. There's another walnut <coughs> in there, and she's got a big pregnant belly. Oh. <laughs> nope. That's that's not it. No, um, there's like a dancing. is a montage of that happening, <laughs> and then there's a baby, and then it's gone, and it's just like what happened. Those shots. I don't know. And they were classic season one walnut art. <laughs> and now we're in red. <laughs> well, yeah. no, it's not like that. It's like it has to go all the way through, but then it has to like show an empty bassinet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like there has yeah. to be some iconography that we kind of recognize. Two booties for sale, never worn. Fades to black and white. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> no. Very tragic story for yeah. you. Yeah. I. This is your point. No. Want to I mean, talk about these trees? No, no. We can talk about the we can talk about the trees for sure, um, but. Uh, Tell me about the voice in my head. No, Bar- Brahma is on the same cart yeah. back with you, and I'm curious how things are going from Walnut's perspective. Walnut is a petulant little child, and uh, understands logically Brahma's argument for hooking up with the other Walnut. <laughs> However. Did it happen? I mean, I don't know. All I'd, she can, all she I haven't can, seen the fix. All she can get it through her head is she was doting on someone who was not me. And it bothers her, and she's trying not to let it bother her. Um, it, was, it was you. But it wasn't her. But it was. Once you <clears throat> separate, you are not the same. Uh, but even well, now, like but it, this is from oh. a, a philosophical perspective, it's complected somewhat. By the fact that you incorporate both of these walnuts. Yeah, but That's walnut true. does Can you not... tell the difference in your head? Can I tell the difference between my like inner dialogue and this? I think voice? of you as walnut. Not just in the, at the table. I know. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like not just like when we're playing. I know. Um, and so the other walnut, I, I would never, you know, like in, in Call of Cthulhu or whatever. Basically, how sanity works is like how much control I take away. Mm. There's never going to be a situation 
unless that's unless that's like what you want, and it would be cool for a scene mm -hmm. uh, for the other walnut to be there. But the truth is, upon many upon many topics, there is broad agreement. Okay, great. Because you have an imaginary friend. Do you, oh boy. Do, does Walnut, as we know her, does does she think uh, twice as slow? Because both minds have to use the CPU, like they have to share that. No, this Did is more this, RAM upgrade. This is more like a psychic caboose. <laughs> mm, got it. Um, so yeah, Walnut is uh, a little. So upset. sometimes, so <laughs> let's have it be a situation where Brahma rides on top of the. Mm -hmm. On top of the cart, sometimes, until such point as it becomes clear that it's not going to work out and that it's not over, mm. and then spends the rest of the time inside. There's nothing to be done about it, but only time will heal this. Way. Exactly, exactly right. <laughs> but but she makes a she makes a fresh attempt, mm -hmm. roughly every thirty hours. And bless her for doing so. She's patient. What does Inner Walnut have to say about all this? Yeah. And who's going to play Inner Walnut? Is it going to be you or is it going to be you? Inner Walnut says, meh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I think Inner Walnut would be that like logical part of Walnut where she's like, well, she was you mm -hmm. with all of your memories. Like, it is not, <clears throat> you know, it, it is you. Well, yeah, and, and, and also I think at some level it could be a sort of thing where it's like, you're hurting both of us with this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like, yeah. let's just skip. You're hurting all three of us. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Let's skip to the end of this. <laughs> well, let's kind of feel our feelings. Or it's like, or it's like, look, maybe you take the back seat. I'll handle this. There you go. Inner walnut wants to take over. Well, see, that's <laughs> what I was thinking. Yeah. Like, what if yeah. Brahma's like, could you put the other walnut on? Yeah, exactly. Like on the phone. So it's like, because in this specific scenario, there is something that she do that you don't do. But this is yeah, exactly. this is the core of the problem. <laughs> no, yeah. it's that's it. It's like you're not exactly the same. This is this is tantamount to the worst kind of cheating because it's like this is almost you. I don't have the balls to cheat on someone entirely different, so I just got someone who is you, but not definitely not you. This and that's is where coming I went. from a very real place. And, and that's <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. that's the new Yeah. <laughs> anyway, but, now I don't have a twin brother anymore. <laughs> Oh, oh. Um, do you? Who has the bunny tail? The one no, that died? no one anymore. No. The one that's gone. Okay, okay. Clone nut. Sometimes oh. called Walnika. I. Uh, that's all I wanted to know. Perfect. Are we done psychoanalyzing my <coughs> weird character now? <laughs> <laughs> Never. All right. Sometimes uh, when there isn't conversation, there is uh, musical accompaniment. I like that. That relaxes me. For the for the journey. It's like if this language is not working right now, then we'll just move over to this other one that has historically had found purchase. It's fine when it's instrumental, when she starts singing and it's like a love song, while it's like, who are you singing about? Yeah. It's a whole thing. Oh. Yeah. Sing about walnut. No, you don't. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah. yeah. Don't say her name. Get her name out of your mouth. <laughs> yeah. By day by day three, uh, it's the instrumental station. Great. Well, now I'm captivated by the trees. Yeah, and there are there are plenty of them. As I said, it has substantially altered the the nature of it. This is you can almost imagine perhaps how it was when the town was founded by elves uh, mm. substantially before. Why it would have been called Red Larch to begin with? Something different. <laughs> Did they like clean or I don't know? There's just like a vibe that I'm like, yeah. really doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm feeling it. Hmm. I think I feel like maybe you did this. <laughs> Me? <laughs> oh no! It's like it's like um, it's like a uh, it's just decor. Yeah. Right. It's just like an interior decorator. It's a choice, someone made. Um, can I see the sky through the trees, or are they are they? Once <clears throat> once you get into town proper, it's pretty. It's pretty dense. Okay. Oh, I, don't, okay. I don't care for that. Ooh, I'm... Chris is uh, pleased. It's like there's something comforting about... It reminds me of... Well, no, there's, the there's no question yeah. that there is a, an aspect of it that feels... Uh, that feels beneath. Yeah. You get that mist. Mm-hmm. Get mm -hmm. that uh, less light than this before. Is a, it's an upgrade. Yeah. The light was a huge problem. If anything, the town is now more on brand than yeah. it was previously. Yeah. Red Larch 
Red Larches. <coughs> you like this. Maybe change the name. Yeah, I was just going to say, oh, yeah. the truth is we're talking about a two-letter change. Yeah. Um, and certainly in the case of the Southern Sign, we know that someone is available to perform this kind of work. You know, I, That's true. There has been a sign painter here before. I wonder if there's like a sign painting shop. I'm going to look around. Is there is there a business that's just for sign painting a sign? <laughs> you, don't, you, don't, there, you don't see there one. There are five. <laughs> five? Oh. Oh. My cup runneth over. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I mean that's the uh, that's the information that I have for you thus far. How long have we been gone? Uh, mm -hmm. Gosh, hundred years. Oh, oh wow, a, long long time. Time. a fair bit. I mean, we, since we went to Crip Garden. Yeah, Crip Garden Forest yeah, yeah. to Jannar, and then the wedding, which obviously, I mean, yeah, that was year. that was a substantial amount of yeah. time. So you've you've been you were in jail for a year. Yeah, we were in jail for a year. Yeah, sorry. I don't mm. feel like it was a year. No. I have a lot it of was. new tattoos. Yeah. Oh yeah, you've 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 learned some new you've things. You've rebuilt the organization. Jannari courtships, <laughs> even accelerated ones. A year is fast. Yeah. Mm. It's like hasty. Yeah. It's like, are we sure? It's normally like a multi-year thing. Wow. Um, I would love to me, the person playing Walnut, well, um, <laughs> would love to know what Profa has to say about what's going on with the town. Oh yeah. Maybe we get some more information. <laughs> yeah. She she I unf unfrozen. Have we actually seen oh. her on the yeah, horizon? And Gordon? Oh, oh that's probably yeah. Gordon. Is he he's, looking good? He's good. Um, Strong? When you... <laughs> can we take like a poll? Tight? Of the, of the town folk? Can like, take, I could take, take a poll. Y'all like this? Just go around canvassing? Everyone cool with this? Yeah. All these trees. I don't know, are you... <laughs> a little stagecraft? It's, it, it's gotta be loose. Yeah. It's just like you, you need that perfect uh, intro. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about this. Anyway, what, what's going on? Um, so when you uh, arrive, the uh, the light from inside the drawn courtier is particularly uh, reaching out from that main window out into the street. I don't like it when you say that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when is Jerry being metaphorical? When is he being literal? Well, no. Yes. Th <clears throat> this yeah. is. <laughs> this is. I'm. It pleases me to announce, mm -hmm. not just to the table, but to the channel as well, that this is not a spectral hand situation. Phew! In, in, Why not? Uh, listen, uh, there's four ghosts. <laughs> no! no! <laughs> One for each of us. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what spells do I have? Now I, now I would like everybody to play ghosts. For the <laughs> <laughs> um, someday, someday. Uh, no, uh, you, you, can see the, you can see the place um, in operation, uh, but you do not see any strapping ass uh, <laughs> woodsman sex clerics. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, from Jeez. the in the in the in the picture window. Why not? That is your father. Gary, <laughs> <Scary>, relax. <laughs> it's like, I know, and he was good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I game respects game. <laughs> I, I give the, I give the people what they want. You don't see him in there though. Do I see Prafa? You do see Prafa. <gasps> She, she's up and about? She's doing her thing? Uh, she is. In fact, she is uh, wrestling someone behind the counter. Like sexy wrestling? Or Do you think that it might be in that context? Do you oh. think that it's not appropriate for business hours? Mm. NSFW. What's All it right. smell like in there? What you, well, <laughs> what you see is like the window and then oh, <coughs> just Rosie's the little, eyes over. little head. She's watching and it's kind of getting fogged up. While she watches Prof wrestle with whoever, it's like you can <clears throat> you can see uh, flashes of maroon silk at the edge. Imagine it's the classic cartoon fight scenario where there's a cloud of dust <laughs> and swears and limbs uh, just Ow. just around the the nimbus edge of this. You can see um, uh, uh, a silken like a red silk dress um, emerging. I see a red silk dress. I spy. Yeah. Rosie. So. <laughs> I see. Are you down here on my level? Yeah. Like we're both just From where I was, I can see yeah. better, but not much more. Denar and I just come bumbling up. <laughs> what, are you, what are you looking at? Let's go in. Yeah. All right. We can go in. While well, you're all standing at the window, yeah, just push the door open. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Oblivious. Yeah. <laughs> Stinks like sex in here. <laughs> <laughs> like animal sex. <laughs> Bestial. Yeah. Ugh. Did you run something over with the cart? 
I don't know. <laughs> so Jannar's still a virgin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sex smell. Hey, guys. He doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't actually know. Yeah. But he wants to be a part of things. Yeah. He wants to be a part of the grown-up world. Um, that's hot, right, everybody? Yeah. <laughs> right? It's like like hitting like hitting a possum, right? <laughs> that <it> smells like. <laughs> but, but, but like this, gamey, right? That's no. <laughs> I, I can't I can't stress this enough. Uh, this is all actual dialogue. Yeah. That, oh yeah. That yeah. happened in the real game. Yes. As he came in, and it is unceasing. It oh. continues. Wow. Too long. Um, it, it, it continues. So long uh, that Prafa and Audra uh, have uh, an opportunity to um, reshevel themselves, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but they don't give a shit because they own it. And you're staying more or less for free. <laughs> yeah, but all these patrons. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they got to see a, a donkey show just now. <laughs> <laughs> there's not, there's not, uh, it is not densely. Populated okay. at this time. Okay. Mildly populated. Yeah. <laughs> any patrons who but, are here are also entangled in their I own. Oh, no, no. It's uh, like a like fuck kids. Palace, it's orgy night. It's a real favorite fuck fest. It's a real favorite Friday fair and fuck fest. That's it. Here. Dude, I, who doesn't have that shirt? <laughs> um, so uh, you, you can tell that it's been an issue previously um, because certainty's back is to them. Mm. And you suspect that this has been an ongoing process, sort of like a moon phase. What? Um, so that uh, certainty is continuing to work. Uh, because she doesn't want to see her grandma with her, having sex? With yeah. her case. It's not, they're just making out. They're it's just, like a sex cult thing? No, I don't, I don't think so. That's it's not like the intention the, of the piece. I don't know. That's not what I'm getting from this. That's not the smell I'm getting from. That's not what I was feeling. <laughs> you know gonna, what I mean? The nose knows, my friend. I'm going to investigate the that sex burst. cult. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, you've got religion, right? Yeah, yeah, what do yeah. I know about yeah. sex What's cults? What's your bonus? Uh, like five, right? Are yeah. we? Yeah. It was like I've five. got good history. Hey, do we have like a campaign that we've been playing for like three Walnut. years that we want to... Who knows? Who can say? I have found that it's safest just to... Give him a wide berth, <laughs> okay. yeah. and then because he runs himself out, he's going to be tuckered out. Five minutes from now, he's, he's going to be asleep. Just give him a juice box. <laughs> anyway, I, I rack my brain about what I know about sex cults. Not Ooh. much. Fourteen. What? Oh, and you're, you're applying your religion role to this? history. <laughs> Okay, so you know, <laughs> not sex cults as they are currently practiced, no. but the what esoteric told, like, yeah. sex cults yeah. that might have informed modern of sex cults. Of days gone, yes. yes. Interesting, very interesting. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you, don't, you don't see any hint of the sacraments you're familiar with. No, mm. okay. I want to talk. I see a hint of the sacraments I'm familiar with, yeah. though. Yeah? I've been in four different sex cults. <laughs> <laughs> this has the weird <laughs> markings of that fucking, that weird... Church in Epstein's Island. <laughs> what, oh like God! The, the temple. Hey, yeah. but, oh God! What does this place become? Well, yeah, we have, we've been gone for a while. It definitely uh, is not that. I've approached Prafa and I say, "You move." <clears throat> hey, what a delight! <laughs> I say, um, I walk up behind you and I say, um, I go to say something and I go, and then I and then I, and I wait for a minute and I go. Yeah, you're moving. That's so great. It's so great to see you up and about and just... Uh, while this is happening, because of course, the bar extends from the left. We know, we've been here before. Mm-hmm. The door opens, the bar is along the left. As you are situated in the center, trying to distribute this idea verbally, mm-hmm. uh, Prafa looks at you and absorbs the information, but the flailing is long enough mm-hmm. uh, that Audra is able to come around the side during it, place her arms around you sideways, mm-hmm. and kiss your forehead. Aww. Aww. Well, huffs. <laughs> and she, um, <clears throat> she looks at, she looks at Prafa, and she goes, we got a real education in your family history. <laughs> and <clears throat> Prava says, oh? Yeah. And then you, there's like a little, it's almost like, um, it's the sort of tension 
Obviously, there's not an audible component, but it's the sort of tension that one associates with that very high, perpetually drawn out high violin note. Yes. Yeah. Um, there's just a process. dry tension. Walnut says, um, you know, I wouldn't, I don't like to be confrontational. I think we all, y'all know me well enough to know that. Aud- I don't like to confront people. Audra snorts. Only goes, exactly. Um, <laughs> but I just want you to know that I know about your lineage and that you know about your lineage and that you chose not to tell me something that I might need to know. Mm. We share the same lineage. <gasps> you all know that. Okay, I wasn't, I can't remember. Oh, I mean, from yeah, Dinar gasps. The, which is to Rizzi say, too. She's old. <laughs> huh? And Dinar's dumb. What? <laughs> which is to say, just for everyone involved. Yes. By which I mean the Shadow Council. Go ahead. You mean that there is a connection between Prafa and the Enclave? Yeah. Yeah. And Wallace was stewing on it for like a month, a year, <laughs> mm-hmm. at least. All through prisons, but got her through prison. Is what got her through prison, and she just looks at Prophet, and she just she's like, she it clearly like has like had weird feelings about it, and this played out differently in her head. But she just she's like, I just want you to know, I know, mm. I know. <gasps> I gasp because it's polite. Yeah. Everybody else is doing it. <clears throat> she is stunned, frankly, into silence, and. She reaches up uh, to the left corner of her uh, breastplate and uh, unfastens it and takes it off and sets it behind the counter, Um, removes her bracers. She didn't do that to make out with our girlfriend or no, no, wife? She's no. doing this to get in a fight. This is like taking your coat off before you get a fight. <laughs> oh, taking no. the earrings off? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. She has a of armor. Yeah. Um, I don't need this for what I'm about to do. <laughs> uh, it, this, this process takes time. Well, it goes, okay, that's all I wanted to say. Yeah. She starts getting scared. She's like, no. <laughs> um, no, and she says, you started this. Oh, oh shit. She's like, yeah, well, it's like, and then oh, it's no. the the cold it's off. And the, one one leg is off, and uh, the, the other one drops behind it. Well, it goes. Uh, while you're doing that, uh, uh, about this tree <laughs> issue, Just talk about the matters at hand, Kathris. <laughs> Let's get us a quest. Yeah, <laughs> let's talk about the trees. What do when, you think about trees? When is it appropriate to start chanting fight? <laughs> Are you asking someone else? Yeah. What is the yeah? What right is now, the... I, I think give it a minute. Okay. Anyone I'm... talk about the trees? <laughs> and I know that she knows that you know. No. Ah, uh, the trees. I was will... trying to help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like back in your play, but at like a moment way too late. The trees are will make a, a wonderful setting for a fight beneath the boughs. Or in them. Or um, more in them, indeed. Mm. <laughs> Well, it is, uh, she looks like pleadingly at um, Brahma, <laughs> like as if she would help her. I feel like she's no, like- Brahma, and it's like Audra has um, imagined, this is like the, this is the gif of the woman like looking down and then there's a lot of equations. Oh. <laughs> like she is, she is making substantial calculations and then she has extended her arms to incorporate both of you together. Mm. I take, I take off my cloak. Yeah. The only thing I have to take <laughs> off is my, my little grandma shawl. So I'm like, like well, <clears throat> no, <laughs> I could take off more. But I take off the shawl in, in as like a way of aping Prafa and also like getting ready to defend Walnut. My tiny little body. Walnut goes, um, Walnut says, I'm realizing as I get older, <laughs> that there's some things that are better left unsaid. She is, she has, <laughs> <laughs> she is taller than you. They all are. She is <laughs> an imposing kind of 
axiom of a woman. And she stands in front of you, like completely squared up and takes a knee. Takes your knee? She, she eats takes your knee. my knee? <laughs> Um, she Walnut is like, knee. want to take a step back. She's like, oh, I, I don't, <clears throat> I don't understand. <laughs> she says, I never thought I deserved my own history. Oh, no. Um, Walnut just says, um, Walnut goes, it was just, it was a shock to learn. But if I stop and think about it, I'm just happy that we're not all lost. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, you got two, two elves? That's a grove, baby. <clears throat> That's a grove, baby. <laughs> That's a grove of one. <laughs> um, she she uh, stands up and brings you Brahma and Adra into what must certainly be considered the ultra hug. Mm. It's a single hugging organism. There is there's no pugilism, unfortunately. Got four lesbians in a pile. Yeah. <laughs> Got a polycule going. <laughs> What's up? I was just gonna say now, obviously you can see in the diagram. <laughs> it's like these two circles, and then obviously over here. I think Rosie finally cottons on to what's going on here and like gets, is very touched by it. And says to Kathris, just shut up for a second. <coughs> <laughs> it seems, seems okay. Seems I think, good. I think it's I okay. Think, I think it's going to be a diminished form of fight at this point. Yeah. Can you, uh, can I get a perception fight. roll from the class? From everybody? Yes. Everybody? Hello. My perception will suck. My two. No. 16. Ooh, two. I don't perceive at all. I 10. 22. Wow. 22. How dare you say <coughs> Sight it's, beyond sight. It's very, it's very, very slight as this was happening. On a 22? No, 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 the, the motion. <laughs> okay. it's, it's more than 20. And everybody agrees <laughs> that 20 is the best. It's a good um, number. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's very slight, but uh, certainty more or less for the duration of this appeared which is it to be uh, focused absolutely on her case oh uh, exactly she is she but, sitting or she's she working is. at she, it? Okay. She, she, she's sitting at one of the tables uh, her back to this but she can see out to the right now which is where this uh, conclave is occurring okay um, at the moment that this the interpersonal issue was resolved you see her put a wand back into the case. Wow. Okay. Uh, it's very slight, just the movement of the thumb. It's like in the it's like in the movie where the katana comes out like a tiny bit. Yeah. Exactly. It, it is back in the case. God. This so this I think I'm startled by that. He says out loud. He says <laughs> yeah. Out loud. Why not? <laughs> I'm startled. <laughs> By something that I just saw. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> um, for season four, let me get your pronouns right. Are you they? Oh, they. Yeah. It's like they. We need a calibration okay. moment. Okay. Right. Just to get it right down. Just to make sure. All right. right. Now what? About the trees. Yeah. All oh, right. I think the trees are an improvement. I think they're an improvement too. And with Prava. Coming in touch with their heritage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah, yeah. never been a better time to be surrounded by red. Never been easier. Well, no, no, no. And then <laughs> if if you bring the uh, if the trees come up, uh, she says that it reminds her of when she's a girl. Great. Mm -hmm. So we pulled the people. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. The people are loving it. Trees. Trees are here to stay. Okay. Do you it's a fresh new look, baby? <laughs> does the do the trees remind you of your childhood at all? Well, they're different trees than what different, grow in different the different region. Forest. It's not okay. all the same tree, okay? God, <laughs> one giant tree. <laughs> Racist grandma. <laughs> <laughs> it's the class. Oh, you, don't you love these trees? You love trees, don't you? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Woof. Um, 
sense. No, uh, but Walnut does feel comforted by like the canopy that they provide for sh for sure. She's like, I mean, she's always like, you know, started to feel like Red Larch was like becoming very homey, mm. but like now it is now it it is like a true comfort to be there. Aww. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're and they're glad. You know that they're glad. Great. Um. Well, problem solved. Okay. Okay. Great episode, everyone. <laughs> I love it. Wrap it up. Okay. <laughs> nice. Can I? I want to go say hi to Certainty. Absolutely. I think I've met her. You have. At, at HQ, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I, I guarantee it. I and she looks like <clears throat> Omen, so it would be easy to spot her. Um, and so I, I walk up to Certainty um, at her little table. Yeah. Throw a little uh, perception roll. For uh oh. Me. The tripwire. We're a little cold. Yeah, here, now you're dead. Well, there's a oh. womp, 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 womp. What the fuck? Wow. 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 Seriously, womp, womp, womp. Turn those womp. laser eyes on wow. something to be drawn. Shadow Council. Mayor Lavers, please. You. Many prizes. Uh, indeed. Uh, your so servant, uh, Rosie Biesinger, has offered you a boon. So which one should I do first, uh, Shadow Chancellor? Is it the is it the, the A-team dice box? The, the dice. Or the dice proper. Oh, shit. So these are actually the. Um, That's a lot of dice. Yes, these are the the black oh, and yum. gold ones. Are they the AI dice? They are. They oh, are. Ooh. Shadow Council. They are indeed. So we will we will send oh. these oh. out to you, and it's deeply appropriate. And a bunch of little baggies, whatever you want. That's oh, one indeed. baggie per die. It's <laughs> deeply appropriate uh, that you should win it, uh, because these are the uh, Shadow Council dice. So it makes perfect sense <laughs> that you up. would do it. <clears throat> Remember, Indeed. I did this for you, Shadow Council. Get off my back. Yeah. <laughs> there is a uh, second case. Okay. She has a sort of off to the left of the table. Um, she has with her a second case. Is she trying to hide it? Um, it is, you would say that it has been oriented in a way that will allow her to gain access to it, but it is. You you think that as a professional skulker mm -hmm. uh, yourself? Excuse me. Well, I can let, hear you. I call Whoa. him like I see him. I'm just saying that. Um, yeah, you you think that it's not meant to be commented on. Huh. I see. So I walk right up and comment on it, <laughs> um, and I say, "Is this really a uh, two cases kind of a joint?" <clears throat> yeah. How does it relate to the wand you hit? <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> <coughs> Wand. Um, no. So, um, at the notice, mm -hmm. she you, you, she sort of like puts her foot out and like scoots it even farther into what she thinks is the is the hidden zone. Certainly, I've already seen it. See right there. It's just moved. <laughs> there it is. It's, yeah, she moved it with her foot slightly under the table, but you can God. see there's no tablecloth or anything. The I can same see it. Spot. Yeah. <laughs> What's up with that? So it, it basically, from the top, it looks very similar to, uh, it looks very similar to the case that she uses here to work. And so just so that it's perfectly clear what sort of things that the case offers, it's essentially like, um, it's a smaller version of the things that you've seen at the Acquisitions Incorporated headquarters. Okay. Yeah. So once it's folded down, it incorporates elements from a lot of the different tools that employees might have. Okay. So, but it's like the, um, it's like you have Scrabble and then you have Travel Scrabble. You know what I mean? Travel Scrabble. Yeah, Travel Scrabble. <laughs> <laughs> Where it's like, you know, maybe you don't have the tiles. Maybe it's actually like a magnet board and yes. then you're laying down the things, right? Sure. And so it has slightly smaller versions of different tools, but it is essentially like a, a portable bureau that can be folded up. It has uh, mail slots similar to the ones that you had seen in the HQ. Omen would be so proud. She takes her work everywhere. Yeah. Now, the, but this one that's, the one that's open I see yeah. is, is this kind of configuration, but the one under the table, I have no proof of what's inside of that yet. You can't see inside of it yet. Okay. Uh, so it seems like there's been some upheaval though. I'm not surprised if she's carrying an extra one. Well, or that there's more than one of these cases, I guess. What's, <clears throat> what's she doing working here? I don't know. Why are you at work? I'm never not at work. Well, you know what I mean, you at know? work. At work. At work proper? Yeah, they need you at, at HQ, don't they? Uh, well, not with this case. Which case? It's never been easier. I see two cases. Well. What's in the second case? What's in the case? <laughs> <laughs> you tell me she's okay. <laughs> um, she closes this case up 
snap, snap, buckle, buckle, <clears throat> wide belt-like strap around mm -hmm. the side, additional buckle. Mm -hmm. It's branded end to end. Mm. Much it's like got, yourself. It's got the gold filigree. Much like me. Exactly. It, you're flexing mm. on these I earrings for real. <clears throat> and she sets that, she basically pushes that one back and opens up, uh, and grabs the second case, which seems to be of much newer uh, the other one, oh. the other one has the rich patina one associates with used leather. And uh, opening this case, you see that it's more or less a, it's a, almost a duplicate uh, mm. of the other. But nothing seems to be coming through it yet. Mm. Uh, it's like it's it's the shape of it without any of the animating principles, mm. basically. Okay, <clears throat> is it like a dummy version of her of her other case? Yeah, I mean it, it, the two ways Don't you can think it of it. Yeah, the two ways you could think of it would be that it's either um, like a trial, right? Right. Yeah. Um, or it simply hasn't been hooked up to the network it's a yet. Blank. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, is this <clears throat> a, is when, it, she's she's like, well, last time when we lost access to absolutely everything, uh, and I had to crawl around uh, inside of an astral ghost's asshole. Yeah. Uh, that's when I started seriously considering a secondary network. I see. That's incredibly smart, actually. I'm Thank impressed. You. Thank you, Rosie. Yeah. Secondary network. Never thought of that. Is there more than one of those assholes? Creatures? <clears throat> well, she she says they they're not all that big. Hmm. I I have to. We're in the negotiating phase now. I have to convince. I have to convince one. Hopefully, a smaller one whose requirements will be less substantial. A child. Like a to baby jellyfish? To trick a like a like veal? <laughs> we'll put it in a box. She's like, I'm not gonna move. eat it. No, just, I'm not gonna eat it. I just wanna use some portion of its interior structure. It's not weird. It's a normal you know what? Does it hurt the thing? I don't know. And then she, <laughs> she, Fair enough. <laughs> she, 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 she closes the front. Could be. Wow. What would you feel like if you had mail running through you all the time? <laughs> It'd be nice to not have it. Yeah, probably would be. Frankly, I get used to it. Then you miss it. And she, 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 she snaps it up, sets it down, pulls out the other case, opens it back up, and you can tell immediately that they're just on different tiers. Like as hmm. soon as soon as it comes down, there's a just a, a sequence of things occurring inside. It's like a it's like unfolding a watch or something hmm. out in front of her. She has access to. Uh, variety of different tools, secretarians, uh, direct mail through the, the stuff. There's documentary aspects in the bottom. Before I go further, table talk. Um, how many, do we know about all seven omens? We? Uh, yeah, we're, where we are we do? at? Yeah. I feel like Ooh. somebody said something to us in character that, that now we know. Do you know? We know do we that... know in character about the, all the omens? Oh, would you... Me? Yeah, Me now? You, you are you know okay. because you talk specifically to uh, Greta Preller or oh, Greta yeah. Preller yeah, in Greta. Um, in right. Tribor, who suggested a couple interesting things mm. that may come into play. Okay. Uh, okay. First, yes. uh, suggested that there was indeed a surfeit of such creatures, and right. it was actually it's actually bad because uh, her feeling was that omen. Uh, in an attempt to be clever, um, thought that he could distribute what he owed to the Shadow Council right. over multiple clones. But the letter of the law actually states that it's multiplied per instance. Yeah. That seems like a big <clears throat> contract that Omen should have paid closer attention to. I think that you're right, and it might be that we investigate some concepts like that. Okay, so then, thank you. I wanted to, yes. my next question oh, to certainty is related. The other thing that she suggested um, was that there was uh, a zone or realm yes. uh, called the realm of Plane of Retirement. Retirement. Yeah, I do have that written down. Right. Oh, the real, and, and what I have here is real omen is imprisoned there. Correct. Uh oh. Correct. Hmm. So that's that's all the. I just wanted to make sure. And I haven't communicated this to them. Just, I mean, you 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 tell me to what extent you have. It was a very busy period. There was also a lot of apples, as you'll recall. Long, long montage. We just. It was a long montage, but I don't think because <laughs> primarily I don't think walnut 
would be able to handle this news. <laughs> Walnut knows that there are multiple omens. But not that the real ones are No, present. yeah, we all know And there's she knows multiple. that there's something wrong with the original one because it has right. shaky handwriting. Shaky handwriting. Yeah. Um, but uh, all she knows is that she wants to give him the old stabby stab stab, however right. many there are. E okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't think we know. We but it we know that there's clones. We know there's clones. We definitely know that. Okay. Yeah, we don't know about the plane of retirement. Okay. Right. So um, then I want to get closer to certainty and drop my voice because I know Kathris is listening. Yeah. And to say something to her, um, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a stab at this since certainty is so this hub of information. No. <laughs> Let's take a stab at this bitch. No, I'm, I'm gonna try because she's a hub of information. Because she is, <coughs> she knows the, a lot about she a lot. Does, she does so many things. Um, I'm gonna speak to her in halfling. Mm. Interesting. Um, in a, in an attempt to be uh, more secretive about the question that I'm about to ask her. So in halfling, I ask her, "Can you talk to the real omen through one of these cases?" Uh. It takes her a second, and it's like you can tell that she's listening very, very hard. I, and I repeat it really <laughs> slowly, just in case she needs to like break it down per word. I, What's happening? Sound like I say, you you had but to ask, and I walk back to the <laughs> bar. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Kathris took a hint. Um, I, I in my they head, are. halfling sounds like Welsh. I was gonna say it's like. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's gonna it's gonna bounce. It's gonna, yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. Very, very, very musical. Very up and down, but simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like there's a simple, a simple set of letters. So that means almost like German. Everything's way longer, and when you translate into German, exactly. The but there's going to be some really complicated words, like, like the good feeling when you sit down in your chair right. at the end of the day, and the pipe is already ready. But it's just and you wish that you had <laughs> <Yeah>. some <laughs> shortbread. You don't have it, but you can smell it at a neighbor's house, and you, know, you think that you might be right. Yes. It's like one word. Yeah, 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 exactly. There is some <clears> of that, for sure. Um, so yeah, she says it again very, very slowly, so that certainty can try to catch it. Um, interesting. Uh, Do it. Is persuade? I'm trying to think. Is... Wait, look, what do you need? Yeah, it's in there. Persuade, sir. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. thing you can do. Yeah. yeah. You give can me, do it in Dungeons give, and Dragons. Give me a yeah. persuade check. Well, I keep running oh, different sure. games. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that was your first That's problem. my fault. Spend some luck. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. A 19. Hey. Um, Natural 19. <clears throat> she says, uh, why? <laughs> In halfling or in common? In Spanish. halfling, but it takes you know it's like six syllables because it's the, let's say that it's the specific version of why yeah. that says it's like I I don't trust you as much as I could but you're not a stranger to me why okay why <laughs> you're right okay um, be wow. because and the, the the term for shadow council doesn't exist in halfling can be called something else so right? i drop in a common for that yeah, this, so yeah, perfect so i say because the and then in common shadow council <clears throat> and then i come back is looking for him and i don't think he's safe um she oh here let's see give me an insight check okay i know about that one <laughs> five it's nothing well, t unfortunately, oh, oh it's got I, got, acting symbol. I always get so excited on these <laughs> dice when I see the acting symbol. Obviously, <laughs> because in, in, in so. addition to whoever, in addition to whoever I am, also it's not ones, baby. Yeah, I'm also <laughs> omen, and so I get excited to see that sigil, you know, emblazoned thus. Mm -hmm. But that's a one. Yeah. Okay. Good. <clears throat> Beat her with a five. She. Tell me the question one more time. Um. She asked me why, and I said because the Shadow Council is looking for him, and I don't think he's safe. Um, she, you are situated to the right of her as she has her case out in front, and she reaches up and just makes an adjustment with her forefinger, like wipes a tear away mm. from her left I. Okay. And she says, I'm working on it. Well, let us help you. The plan isn't done. Okay. So you'll be the first people I talk to. I have to be I have to be completely honest with you. And she she looks around, like looks out, like stares mm -hmm. into the darkness outside the window. You know how it can be difficult to 
judge that depth in a lit space. Especially with all those ghosts out there. There's <laughs> five ghosts. What? Yeah. Oh, they're multiplying. There's more now. Well, the, that's their that's their life cycle. Oh. Um, uh. And so uh, she just looks out, uh, like just tries to see. Just basically, look at, like, like she's looking in places that a person couldn't be. <laughs> she's right? extremely paranoid, is what I'm picking up on here. Yeah. Okay. Paranoid enough to create a parallel network. Yeah. Okay. So I'm putting all this together. <clears throat> that she is extremely on it. She's also afraid. Yeah. Um, and that Omen is indeed not safe. And she says, Is he safe from you? Mm. Mm. I think so. But I can't speak for my fellows. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. I'm just in the back. There's like a drawing of Omen and like a, like a dummy doll and I'm just like, like yeah. No, yeah. you're like training around it like <laughs> oh, we thought you got me with that contract. Step, step. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like don't pay attention to this. It's nothing. Papa. We're just having fun. Yeah. We're having fun. Yeah. It's a little you just, work stress. You just stop to wave like <laughs> <laughs> I can't speak for my fellows, and then a meaningful yeah. glance over to Walnut, and then a yeah. meaningful glance back. And she says, yeah. Exactly. For the real, so all of this is still in Halfling, so I'm going to try to, to speak as she would. So a partial, a partial link. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Not an entire not a con, link. Not a total con link, yeah. a partial link. Um, I believe that many of them are not safe. But the the one who is the most true is Very safe. nice. Right. That's that's kind of how it comes out in, in Halfling. Very nice. <clears throat> She's like, she says, I'll be in touch. Hmm. Okay. Um and, and she she sort of like like if it was a choice, she wouldn't have done it. But she like her eyes sort of like Flash down to the case momentarily. Okay, I notice. I notice this, but as a, as a force of habit, I say like a halfling farewell, which is one of those like short words. It's just like a fl- flourish, but it means like warm hearth, warm bread, <laughs> and oh, like. Yeah. But it's just it's just what I'm used to at the end of a halfling <clears throat> conversation. Yeah, and she she says that sounds good. Mm. It does. Cute. All right, so who else wants to interact with the rich world of the? C team. What are you doing, Dinar? <laughs> I don't know. How many people are there? Who else is in this? <laughs> Who else is there to talk to? <laughs> Who's more interesting? Yeah. <laughs> right. Right now we have the C team. Uh, the last person in here is Certainty. Mm-hmm. There might be somebody staying in one of the other rooms, but they're not down here in the middle. <laughs> Just <laughs> knocking off. Get out. Talk to me. Hey, what do you think about these trees? Do <laughs> a straw poll. We got a tree problem. We got a tree problem, right? Right? Yeah, these are can weird, I, right? Can I put you down? Yeah, Is this sign here? Can I get <laughs> your signature? Uh, as certainty, what you think of these trees? Is this weird to you? It's fine. I don't, I don't live here. <laughs> All right. See, everybody loves the trees. <laughs> All right, fine. Yeah. I'm here representing the orphans against these goddamn trees. <laughs> they hate them. Yeah, I was working on it. I was trying to get there. <clears throat> everybody likes the trees. Um, I could always ask them to go, but I, they're nice. I like them. I like that. Like I could ask them. You guys couldn't ask them. No, it would I be weird. It'd be them. weird if you asked them. It'd be weird if you <laughs> asked them. If they're not causing problems, I guess it's fine. Yeah. I just worry about the spread of Nalayan's domain. <laughs> But the trees are so nice that I just don't want to worry about anything right now. It's like it's a little from column A, a little from column B. Column B. It's like mm. my taxes. Like if I just put all my mail in the freezer, I don't have to think about it. Uh, extremely casually into the whole room, I'm like, is Father Gordon feeling better? Is it casual? It's yeah. extremely it. casual. He left a year ago. No, it's extremely <laughs> casual. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's been married for a year. Yeah, right. yeah. I'm going to do a performance check against yeah. your intuition or whatever you did. Yeah, it is. My, my intuition is quite good for ah, you yeah. get my How auspicious. <laughs> <clears throat> do I feel um, like a musk rising? <laughs> yes. No, no, no. It's like heat. <laughs> the fog <laughs> bank Just rolls in ahead of him. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. no, but basically the way that it works is like there's lots of little conversations around. 
and everybody's just sort of like chattering, you know, to the person nearest them, and you know, inviting others into their confidence. And then for some reason, when you ask this a little too loud, <laughs> it's in the point where all the other conversations have stopped. <laughs> so now you're the only person. Like you can hear the words come back to you uh, off the oak beams of the ceiling. You're alone. Like crows take flight outside. <laughs> Yeah. Startled. <laughs> oh, good. <clears throat> uh, you guys are role playing this too well. <laughs> yeah, so just looking at I you. Know, like, yeah. Oh man, she should have said it out loud. We've been gone a year, uh, so. Yeah, mom has got a dry streak going on here. <laughs> so he probably went home. I'm assuming. He's probably in his home. Yeah. Well, good. Home. So he's okay. Yeah. So certainty uh, turns over a new sheet, and she's like, well, "What do you want to tell him?" I mean, I can. Just oh. if he got home safe, alone, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ask if he's yeah. okay with, if he met anybody. I just want to make sure, you know, he was petrified, and um, mm -hmm. now hopefully he's not. I see Prafa up and about looking great, so um, I just wanted to make so you, sure. You, you, want, you, want, you want me to ask him if he's still rigid? Is that, do I have mm. that correct? Audra snickers behind the Yeah, bar. yeah, okay. Uh, Yes. Oh, all right. Sure. I do actually very much. It's been a long year. You're rigid or flaccid. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know right back. Let, yeah. <laughs> right, right, right Circle back. yes or no. <laughs> <clears throat> I just want to make sure he's okay because I was part of our quest and I we check it off. She she folds it up. I added a couple other things in there. Oh. And she pushes it through the. <laughs> what did you? It, she, she pushes it through the darkness of the. Uh, of the case, mm. uh, and it enters the uh, fully elaborate mail system of Acquisitions Incorporated. Mm -hmm. The Maelstrom! God bless you! He's a monster. God bless you. <laughs> you heard your keep today. <laughs> yeah, stay. this day. <laughs> you can stay. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Uh, this day. Um, there is... Uh, an immediate return. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. Actually, yeah, but it's a drawing of his penis. <laughs> Hurry! Hurry! <laughs> it's an etching. Oh, God. No, a rubbing. A rubbing. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's got to be like, what's it? Is it, is it the Morris scale? What's the, the diamond hardness? Oh, yeah, the, the, the most hardness scale. The most yeah. hardness scale. I didn't know they made parchment this big. <laughs> no, the chart comes back and it's like quantized. <laughs> <laughs> Roughly this region here. Oh, my God. Uh, so. Growing up in a corner. It's Valentine's Day. So. Um, Almost. Uh, Almost is. Uh, uh, a shadow passes by uh, the window outside and you can hear the flap of the mailbox, <laughs> um, and it's very meaningful. You can hear the flap of the mail of the mailbox. Uh, there's no word for it. It is it's just it, the wet some, slap something of the gets put inside the mailbox. I said, there's no escape for me now. It just there's something in there now, and there wasn't before. Meaty thud. Yeah. The, the wet rhythmic slap. Don't you, of the don't you be a part of this? No, I'm not. I said I am there. In an instant to get the mail. I mean, they're in an instant point five, yeah. just a second too late. <laughs> oh. um, I'm there to get the mail. Official business, documentary at my fingertips once again. <clears throat> it's ready to go. Everything feels right in the world. It's back. Level three, baby. Level three, baby. Baby. <laughs> what's in the mail? Uh, what's in the mail is a. Do I have to put it in the freezer? Is it my taxes? <laughs> Don't make me do it. They found you in the game. <laughs> I'm getting served in the game. <laughs> exactly. In real, it's like it's part of the veil. It's like pierce the veil between the real world. Um, oh, no, no, you're fine. What's in the mail? Um, what is in the mail is a, a fully elaborate uh, cylindrical presentation, mm -hmm. something like a, a scroll case. Yeah. Um, so you know that such jobs are. You know that such jobs are issued, but you also know that they're quite rare. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it's it's sort of like a it's like a corollary of the documency practice is just to understand this this array of of um, job levels. This is an S tier. This is job. this is S plus. Oh, they don't even make S plus. This is incredible. Well, they're 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 made for. Messages like this. It isn't like they have a bunch of them. They put jobs in. It's like they make this for this job. I know I'm being ridiculous, but I'm actually very excited. 
I want to know. I'm super excited. Uh, what is it? I, like, she smells it. She's like, she's like, oh, this is it. Big leagues, everybody. No, Did he cold. make a mold that it's, fast? It's, <laughs> he had one on stamp. Boo! Crazy. <laughs> Yeah, you're not gonna like hearing this, but he sends a lot of these out. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't the first <laughs> that he you sent won't be to the last. today. <laughs> I go, no, Lever. it's official business. <laughs> That's yeah, what I'm saying. I want to crack the seal. Oh, absolutely. <clears throat> um, so you give it, a, you give it, you give it a twist. Yes. Uh, like Chubby Checker. Um, wow. And inside, <laughs> okay, Boomer. The um, <laughs> uh, savage <laughs> Chubby <laughs> Checker <laughs> references. <laughs> I just watched Hairspray. Um, so, uh, both of them. I watched like the old one. Wait, so are you saying you crack open a ch uh, scroll case like this? That's what I've been doing this whole time? Yes. Oh. Yeah, it's, Official it's, it's, business. It's for the S tier elite. Uh, you, 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 dude, you've been preparing for this day. It's, like this is what you I, trained and for. And then you stole it from I, me. I, I, as soon moment. as I do it, I realize what I did and I go, <clears throat> Try to put it back together, but it's oh. too late. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's all it's all coming. All here. the crescent rolls. It's like, oh no, I loosens it. Here you go. <laughs> yeah. <It> loosens it. <laughs> um, what do I see? Uh, what do I see contained within, Jerry? So this task, um, it is not inscribed on the paper until you look at it. Oh sh. Okay. So it's as though it's almost like in the same way that a message might be encrypted. Until you look at the paper, mm -hmm. the instructions are not there. And the job that it enunciates is deeply strange. Great. Elaborate. <gasps> yes. And multi-part. Yes. Delectable. Yeah. Tell me all about it. So, uh, there is such a thing as uh, mystical escrow. Nah, I don't want to do it. Right? <laughs> and so, oh boy. imagine uh, a scenario. So good for squirrels. <clears throat> and so as you, as you uh, continue to read down, yes. uh, Acquisitions Incorporated as an entity yes. has been chosen okay. as sort of the middle, like the third party in negotiations between two other entities. Great. Oh. What are these entities? And so what it enunciates in here is that there is some kind of consternation mm -hmm. about winter as a concept in the Feywild. Oh boy. And who, and, and you mean, you've, you've heard about things like this, but oh, yeah. essentially there is the Court of Winter's Breath and there is the maiden whose hair and heart are ice. Oh. And so there is an issue about who whose domain mm. it truly is. Yes. Um, and who is who is correct, authorized, pure and true to be seated on that throne. Um, and it's the implications are cosmic in nature. Yeah. Um, we had, we discussed before the place where winter never ends. Well, that's where these people work. Yes. Right? And uh, there is some consternation about it. And so to that end, uh, they have rendered unto Acquisitions Incorporated two items. Mm -hmm. An item apiece. And it is Acquisitions Incorporated's job to hold on to those items in a place of perfect safety mm. until such time as the negotiations come to a close. So we just got to find a safe spot for these items? <clears throat> well, they, Acquisitions Incorporated has one. Okay. Um, indeed, they have a planar vault. A jellyfish's mm. butthole. Yes. Oh. Exactly right. Not a jellyfish this time. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's like Iron Mountain. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just like, it's a regular shark's butt. Um, <clears throat> essentially, it. what you no, never look there. Uh, what you learn from the rest of the document is sort of like a situation where it's like, you know how you get your card, like you get your debit card? Yeah. And then you get the code later? Yeah. Type situation? Uh, Something like that is about to happen, and that's what this that's what this scroll indicates. Cool. That you are going to receive a device called a planar synchronous. Mm. Yes. And then you are going to receive a key for the planar synchronous. Okay. And using these two things, mm -hmm. uh, you'll be directed toward to specific areas where you synchronize. Um, it's, essentially, the, the the vault itself is a is a multi planar vault, mm -hmm. and 
the two places that you turn the key to open it are just in different places mm. um, in the prime material. I see. Uh, and they're places that are owned, they're either owned or known to um, uh, Acquisitions Incorporated. So they're places okay. that they could reasonably be expected to get access to. Great. So that they could access, they, they could use this vault for some purpose. Sounds hmm. like an easy job. <clears throat> Absolutely. There are several warnings. Okay. <laughs> about the planar synchronous. Good. Well. Um, you're not supposed to eat anything within the area of effect, but it doesn't describe the exact range okay. of the area of effect. Um, right, fine. The letter, like the letter T, and it goes through a few different languages, isn't to be uttered inside the area while the planar synchronous is being performed. Mm. Oh. Okay. Mm. Um, Terrific. Uh, no, no problem. <laughs> nice one. It's something to consider. Um, it's something to consider, but it, it suggests <laughs> that uh, nothing is going to be left to chance, essentially. Okay. We're going to begin with a synchronization here, a calibration of the planar synchronous, just so we can make sure. Mm -hmm. um, and you think that Profa will be overjoyed to learn mm -hmm. that the thin space around the threshold of the drawn and courtier, uh, specifically the test market, uh, that a much younger Jim Dark Magic mm -hmm. uh, created more or less by accident, but would never admit. Mm -hmm. um, this planar synchronous can actually close that, and they think that's the proper test for this device. Are there a bunch of people stuck in there? Yeah, but uh, if they haven't made it out by now, they're not going to make it out. Right, where are they going now? Can we kill them all? Nah. The ones we, we saw. The ones we saw, yeah, I guess they could be... We killed everybody we saw. I mean, <laughs> come on. We killed the lucky it, ones. It's true. And then <laughs> once, once you have been able to... Once it's calibrated, mm -hmm. There's three distinct locations, basically, that need to be synchronized, and that allows access to the vault plane. Now, wait a second. If we're still in the test market, and this closes the <laughs> test market... It'll answer the question once and for all. Campaign over. True. Campaign over. What if it's a trick? I'm willing to what take that chance. What if this is, the, this is the red pill or the blue pill in the Matrix? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. What if it's all simulation? Yeah. If we're installing this. Don't buy a simulation. <clears throat> I hope! No, it's true. I uh, hope none of this is real. Uh, Josh, if you'd be so kind. What? <laughs> so where are you right now, Dinar? <clears throat> where am I? Yes. I'm standing there in the middle of the room. <laughs> right. So, so <laughs> let's 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 be let's be quite clear. All uh, right. Walnut has opened some dumb mail. Yeah. There's something going on over here. Mm -hmm. uh, you're a little hungry, and you're Always. tired constantly. Yes. Um, <laughs> and I, I would like to have a. Perception roll from you with advantage. Avantage. Avantage. Nope. Terrible. Okay. Eight's not gonna he's do a, it. He's flat on perception too. There it is. Yeah, sixteen. Much better. Okay. Uh, you hear natural sixteen. Well, it, it starts out. You sort of hear like a. It, at the beginning, it sounds like two pieces of paper. Uh, sort of rubbing together, mm -hmm. like a a hiss. God help me, a susurration. Mm. And susurio, basically. Oh yeah, um, Phil Collins. <clears throat> um, that slowly but surely begins to break into individual syllables that you can perceive. Um, and what it says is, uh, now, precious Vars Malus, Hear me in my time of need. Thanks, Josh. Ooh. Huh. Uh, I, I, think, I think we'll come back to it after okay. the break. Oh, all right. Whoa. Whoa. It's going to be cool. That flew by. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Shadow Whoa. Council. We'll be right back. We've got another hour. It's, it's fine. It's fucking fine. Don't worry about it. We'll see you. Hello. Uh, and welcome back. To Seti teams. Oh, Seti teams? <laughs> oh, it's Spoonerism. Seti teams. Well, like that's what's called. Was that? Yeah. Yeah. Bader my health. Welcome back. Uh, when last we saw our heroes, uh, one of them was <laughs> receiving a mystical, potentially prayerful communique <laughs> uh, from an unknown entity. I like the idea that Dinar is receiving Vars Malus's prayer. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so, no, it's like you're yeah. getting calls. Yeah. It's like, like no, oh, it's no, wrong number. So I guess, yeah. You said it sounded like papers 
coming well, at first, no, at first it just it, it, like a like a hiss or whisper, oh, okay. and then just be, it, it became clear once you rolled a sixteen. Oh, okay. Uh, I it wasn't. I would think I was inferring that it came from the. It was like some the sort papers? of encoded thing within. No, the at scroll. first at first it was just a strange sound. Oh, you don't you don't think that it, it emanated? I from dialed the in on the word paper, yeah. Jerry. <laughs> the paper needs some help. I I sure. me. Words yeah. have meaning, Jerry. Yeah. You know, you can't just throw your fucking bullshit terms out here and think they'll you know, just we'll walk right past them. All right, I'm not. You know, <laughs> you know, he's take the. Best. He's doing his best. best. Come on, you know, God bless him. He's doing his best. <laughs> you know, I mean, ever since Martha died. Oh man, he needs a win. All right, leave him alone. <laughs> uh, so I hear a uh, Obi Wan Kenobi save me. Somewhere in that continuum, yes. Uh, and this... it's it's ardent. Mm. And while I wa- bo- and worshipful, like you're you're here in the foyer, <laughs> wallowing in my own crapulence. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. But you're you're receiving, uh, you are acting as a receiver station for this entreaty. Yeah, is this the first time this has happened? You don't. It's never happened when the camera was on. I guess. Okay. So he was like, in that case, it's happened many times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's never. It's, 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 prank it, caller, it, prank caller. It's weird when it doesn't are you, happen. Are you pranking me on a cell phone? <laughs> prank caller, prank caller. Uh, so they're invoking Vars Malus, and they it's are. coming to me. It is. I would find that confusing. I suspected you would. Uh, I start yelling <laughs> in the middle of the room. Like just incoherently, just like no, no, no. <laughs> just yeah. I try to send a message back by screaming as loud as I can because that's the only thing that I know. What do you scream? No. <laughs> Who are you? Who is that? No. <coughs> Shut up. It, it, <laughs> so now this is just a normal quest that we're getting from the the mail. Just calm down. <laughs> Talking to the mail. Yeah. No. Absolutely no. Not. Yeah, I'm yelling. <laughs> <laughs> the scroll is kind of like where I'm pointing. No! What? <laughs> no! <laughs> it's just, it, it's easy. It's easy. We just gotta take it to the place. No! The, I'm hearing, this scroll's praying to me. <laughs> what? I doubt it. Something's praying to me. I, I double doubt, doubt it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Are they praying I to, they're you. saying, <laughs> tell it to my ears. They're saying, please, Dinar, answer my prayers? Is yes. what you're hearing? In so many words. No one else is hearing this? No. Then that's no. proof. <laughs> of what? Ipso facto, that I'm hearing prayers. Look, we all had a long ride here. We haven't slept in a real bed in a long time. I know you need your 10 or 12 or whatever it is. Oh, oh your yeah. scales do gleam. And they, <laughs> it, it's been a while since we talked about Dinar. My scales do so. gleam. What? what is he talking about his scales now? <laughs> Is it, uh, yeah. is it part of the prayer? Yeah. <laughs> it's like agreeing with that part. He's like, yeah, <clears> okay, <throat> maybe, maybe we can, maybe you know, we can get you know, together and some of wrong. It's honestly not that far afield from just normal dinar. Regular so, thoughts. Yeah. yeah just, like, it's within the being, tolerance being levels. Being a doofus. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's like ignorable at this point. <laughs> like, is he awake? Maybe yeah, he just, he when gets, he gets real sleepy, he gets real sleepy. He fights it for like five minutes before yeah. he passes out. No, my prayers, I have to answer I'm getting the prayer. prayers, yeah, this is... Well, what are you gonna do about it? Yeah, I don't you, know! You gotta answer the prayers then, sweetie. I don't know how to answer a prayer. Do I know how to answer a prayer? I think this is a great time to find out. A one. Lucky. Oh, you can lucky. take the one if you want, but you can also re-roll with lucky. <laughs> I don't even know what I was rolling. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll take the one. I think taking the one's good. I take the one. <clears throat> Can that be? It gets so loud <laughs> oh, <God damn it. laughs> in your head that it is, it's like a headache. Oh man. That's just pounding against your forehead or whatever weird membrane uh. you have in the, on your neck that you use as an ear, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a hole. The little it's weird hole. It's a little yeah. hole inside have. his head. I yeah. like it. Well, you know. <laughs> you think it says it. more about you than me. Yeah. <laughs> It's just it's 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 just like being repeatedly slapped. Yeah, in. I I I dropped to one knee. I don't know. Now it's being overwhelmed with prayers. Why is everyone going on one knee in front of me today? It's, it's weird. you go just turn around. Just I'm being happen. prayed to. <laughs> you shouting because it's yeah, so loud for you. Just rolling around. 
Does covering my ears help it? Can um, no, when you you cover your ears and turn it, and it just like uh, <laughs> as you turn your head, uh. it's like it's clearly louder. Mm. Yeah. Like there is a direction this is coming from. Is it the where scroll? It, where it ceases to be? No, in fact, it's quite the opposite of the scroll. Oh, oh, but it gets it gets it, quieter it gets, away from the scroll. <clears throat> yeah, louder at the scroll. I say, I think the scroll is praying to me. Throw the scroll away. <laughs> no, the scroll is not that. praying to you. You're not oh, our god. <laughs> <laughs> have to do what you say. Now, guys, it is Dungeons and Dragons, and anything is possible. So, could the scroll be praying to him? No. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. It's Sorry, like, no, it's, it's like no. No, <laughs> scrolls, scrolls don't pray. To, you can do whatever, whatever you here want on page forty-seven. <laughs> that's at, it. at Jeremy Crawford. <laughs> can, can scrolls, dear J. Croft, <laughs> can scrolls pray? Signed, two players. Your friend. <laughs> so is there, any, is there any evidence of like uh, something being aimed at him like in a, in a arcanical sense? Ooh. Are you trying could, to roll a dice, I would love Kithris? to. I want to perceive the, that mind and see if there's anything weird going stay on. Stay rolling dice. I'm going to try it again. Oh, buddy. There is that a is. fucking four? There the number is. of this beast. I am changing it. <gasps> you can't. Season four. Is it season four? I am changing it. <gasps> Officially, here tonight, your four in front of God is twenty. Wow! Shadow Council, uh, Mayor of Labors, please you. Uh, next up, we got the Elderwood Academy. Nothing in it. Dice hole. <laughs> is it just a huge bomb? <laughs> dice hive. Oh, oh yes, dice the dice hive. hive. Um, but no, I should have done it last season. Should have done a I can't get over. I should have done it. The four, there's too many fours. Now twenty for you fours? is just twenty. It's just twenty. That's but good. four. Yeah. It's a four bump, bump, bump. is a bump. Even if you fail the roll, uh, <laughs> you're still good. So you like don't. Prize wise, yeah, exactly. It's, it's still it's, a prize. It's, it's a twenty for them, really. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but what's what's clear, uh, like in terms of like the origin of some kind of a signal. Have you ever seen one of those awesome Yub Tub videos uh, where they show what a guitar string looks like as it's plucked? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like slow mo? Yeah. Talking about exactly. the little, little gift cards, or greeting cards, where you put your face on the. <laughs> right? Yeah, Kill. Yeah, that's no. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> the origin of the the origin of of uh, the stimulus, that's not clear to you, mm. but. There is you know, at a at a at a regular interval, he is absorbing some kind of frequency, yeah, some kind of signal that he, he is resonant to. Mm. I hate to say it's it. plain. I hate to say this, but he's, he's telling the truth. I'm, I'm getting that from his his aura right now, and that means that I believe you. It also that means I, that I believe in auras. And that means so. that I believe in you, <laughs> yeah. which means Great I result. am one of your adherents. Yeah, you're now, now praying to me, yeah. Yeah. It's getting louder. <laughs> Got a heck of an energy. Screaming in his ear. Yeah. <laughs> I believe in you. Wait, I'm going to try praying to you to see if it will stop. <laughs> oh, Scientific? Oh, is it, are they praying to you or, or Vars Malus? Who are they praying to? It's Dinar? They're coming as Vars Malus, prayers to, pray to Vars Malus. But Dinar hasn't said but that. But he hasn't said that. He just said they're praying to me. Uh, then I will pray fervently to Vars Malus and concentrate that. And I ask, oh, oh, great dragon, is is this real? Is this utterly is, earnest? Is this happening? Is this prayer occurring with yeah. true? Do I need to roll for it? I figured that Kathris would be able to suspend their... Like to actually well, contact clerics God. don't roll performance when they cast spells. No, it's real. They don't have to like trick their god into be like, oh no, this is legit. <laughs> I really need this one, bud. Yeah, you can I, push this one through. I want to know what <clears throat> I want to ask of Vars Malus if 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 uh, you know there's something more has happened with with his servant. It's completely blown out. Do I get do I don't get any of it? No, it's just like oh, do I don't. You it's can't like correlate. It. I can't correlate that. I hear him saying it. Oh no! You can see it? his mouth. It probably picks okay. up right away. And, and it is just like a belt grinder. Right. 
uh, on your snout. Uh, but like, <laughs> I like double over. Uh, what was your prayer? I was just like, uh, oh, Mars Malus, is, is, ha, have you more like a special task for your servant, Dinar? Uh, I was gonna say, there was something actionable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, you so know, I'm you asking. He's gonna grant the prayer. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like crawl over. I guess you could answer. Yeah, and he like crawls up at you, <laughs> and then just gets in your face, and it's just like, yes, <laughs> your prayer has been answered. Wow. And does it ease up at all? It does. It does. Well, there is there is a and tension then collapse. The fervent prayer manufactures some kind of attention in you yeah. that is on deeply, deeply unpleasant. Mm. The obligation, imagine obligation as a physical weight. Yeah. Hmm. And this other uh, prayer has not stopped. Mm. Yeah, I mean. And it's, it is, it is if, if anything, it's only increased in its fervor. It sounds like a child. And it's just one, just one repeating it's just prayer? just one okay. pure. I was, Interpreting this as like all of a sudden multiple yeah. prayers. No, this is what you, there was very briefly when Kathris decided okay. to become one of your adherents. All right. But okay. Uh, beyond that, this is prayer very, granted. This is like a child's Christmas prayer. Oh. Aww. And so they're they're going down like the litany. Mom and like dad and they me. know a bunch of the they they know a bunch of the other names. It's like the glittering king. Yeah. There's a lot of compliments in there. Well, that's not bad. It's still very uh, painful and annoying. Um, but and and you yeah. said it's if I face a certain direction, it lessens. Yeah. So I'm an anti divining rod. Yeah. Then I go in the so you, you, numbing you, direction. You push out. Yeah. This is the direction that feels the best. Mm-hmm. Yes. Compared to the rest of it. Yeah. So you push your way out into the uh, out into the night. It's like that, that period of spring where uh, the mud outside is in a constant state of either being. Too, either being disgusting muck mm. or rock hard ice, we're mm. in that middle period. So you, it's cold enough now. You just walk straight along it. You're supporting yourself on trees. Sticks every like sex out here. Every, every <laughs> <laughs> there's a dead possum. No, yeah, no, it dead. has to be. It's just like, oh god, this again. Um, <laughs> but there's plenty of of helpful trees to support yourself. Um, as you do it, you <laughs> find you find yourself uh, pushing out. So much of there's these interstitial spaces that were little walks or almost like uh, tiny parks mm. inside Red Larch are now just forests. Um, uh, you sort of drag yourself bodily along the outer curve um, uh, until you find yourself about 20 feet away uh, from the lighthouse, which you may recall mm. is uh, the orphanage that Rosie funds. Uh, with the gains. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, it does. You, there's some local money. benefactor, yeah. <laughs> uh, a, a local hero, <clears throat> and as you as you as you get to the, like, like, you're basically like supporting yourself with your head yeah. against the edge of the the building. Uh, it says, "Oh, he of the gleaming scale. Uh, now, now, in my hour of need." Give your servant one piece of yellow licorice. <laughs> oh, uh, so I like just run, one, but one, Lord. I run out screaming into the night. <laughs> <laughs> Is it follow me, or you're all just like, Mah. no, we're, I'm going along. Dinar is gonna Dinar. <laughs> He's got to. Uh, He'll be fine. I gotta see this. He's gonna yeah. do it to him. Yeah. This looks good. This looks like. But like from good. like a healthy distance, <laughs> the three of you are just watching as he's yeah. like limping and moaning and whimpering along. I'm gonna take him out for a walk twice a day. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yes. It's good. It's good for him. Kate wants to watch this with amusement, but Rosie is genuinely concerned. So there is like there's a certain amount of like, come on, Walnut. No, come on. We have to. Uh, come on. <laughs> but we just got Brahma, official business. Brahma from the from the upper. Balcony looks down. She's like, "You don't have to do that." <laughs> Rosie, I'm like, my hot wife. My wife. My wife. <laughs> my wife. I know she can wait. I need you to do something up here. Oh. Oh. Put it. Think, think of how much she cheated on you. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I want to put a pin in that. That's really complicated. I need to do this job 
and I need that oaf to do this job. So yes, I will go look at the hilarity that is happening outside. Good enough. We go after you. <clears throat> okay, you, you see, it just he's like bouncing. It's like on the uh, like the uh, bumper is like in a pinball machine. Like he is almost like bodily flung from surface to surface. Dramatically. <laughs> it's too much. And then he just no. drapes himself over a branch. <laughs> Not again. Huh. So I'll watch how this plays out. <laughs> so you're so when you you're, start heading toward the lighthouse, yeah. I'm like Okay. Mm. So you're you must destroy lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> Only way silence. to end the pain. <laughs> Oh, it's, the it's a the only prayers I answer are my own. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's just like your your uh, your forehead is just there against like the the cold wet cladding around the uh, the lighthouse. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's sort of like the front I, left cover. Frankenstein like stumble towards it in a very stiff rigid manner. Ooh. Just it hurts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Holding his head. Hmm. Moaning. I'm and there with you. Kick the door open. <laughs> trying not to think about Bar's Malice because I'm trying not to like accidentally pray. Yeah. Like as a, as a danger. known to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like taking your name in vain. Yeah. If I just accidentally say it. Yeah. When you kick the door open, that's when Rose is like, hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. What are we doing? She turns uh, into a New Yorker. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Oh. Hey, what's an orphanage here? Oh. What, are you, what are you doing with my door? <laughs> I'm a child in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm adopting you. Uh, <clears throat> people are, even now, like, uh, candles have been lit um, in holders, mm. you know. Yeah. Uh, sleeping caps. caps. Oh, oh, yeah. No. It's and Dickensian it's just like, hell. oh, yeah. yeah. And there's little, there's little faces in the window. Oh, like, <laughs> <laughs> You're waking And Dinar. Kicks the door in again as loud as possible. <laughs> no, kicks it. It, it, it opens. Eyes <laughs> closes. <laughs> eyes pupilless, just all white, <laughs> gripping his ears, screaming. Tanar, <laughs> 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 stop! What yeah, are you doing? Stop. And no. I survey the room. <laughs> There's, there is, uh, pandemonium. <laughs> it's like the place is caught on fire, Rosie. It's that level. Oh no. There's just a, there's just like a human <laughs> wave of children just sort of lapping at the edges of the vessel trying to escape this sound. What was the name of the woman who was running this place? That's a great question. Biscuit? We'll look it up later. Okay. <laughs> Some, I can't remember. Anyway, is she around? Two years ago. Yeah, yeah. She's the she is the first and she is she was at the front gate. And then is she is overjoyed to see you right behind this. Yeah. Uh, this copper demon. Uh, Fangs look <laughs> oh, sharper than glinting. normal. Yeah, and the glim- d- candlelight. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. It's, it's like point, <clears throat> pointy teeth. It's like that twisted, but it's like that crocodile. Yeah. Like they're just like off at angles. Ah. Yeah. Dinar, we have to go back now. What are you doing? He can't hear whispering <laughs> over yeah, the well, screaming in his head. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's trying to keep it down. Uh, so the. As I suggested, there's just sort of this point cloud of children sort of washing back and forth. Oh, it's Big Daddy Dinar! <laughs> and he's up to one of his nighttime hijinks, everybody! <laughs> what? Like, is that, can no, I see? And there's a, oh, you can. Okay. Just up one floor and to the left. You don't even know how you got to the second floor. Yeah. You look over, everyone else is, is just moving as though your roars constitute a physical force. Yeah. Except for one small mm. copper dragonborn no. child yeah kneeled at their bed he i, I <laughs> see him no and their I, mouth you know. their mouth sort of like smacking with delight and expectation like a hulking <laughs> giant monster in the darkness go you <laughs> and he approaches the kid <laughs> <clears throat> the, the the child turns quickly, and the joy, uh, it's the expectation you think is different. You think that at some level the child expected the glittering dragon king Vars Malus. Instead of a maniacal <laughs> nightmare. Uh, so it turns and then immediately sits back in 
to the lower bunk. I grab him with one hand and I pick him up. <laughs> I pick him up and I look around the room for like a candy dish. <laughs> Wait, was this kid praying to you? I, yeah, I grab. I'm assuming there's a candy dish. There's no candy dish. There's no candy dish in the orphanage. Are you kidding me? I take him down to the kitchen. Just by, by a scruff of his neck. There's no candy in the kitchen. I gotta give this kid licorice so he shuts up. <laughs> give me a stop uh, praying to me. Give me a wisdom check with advantage. I have some of nature's licorice. <laughs> what does that mean? Leaves. <laughs> it's like celery. It's a it's, good berry. It has earthworms. It's not worms. Thirteen with uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> just am I not? I'm not doing the same thing, right? No, just a flat thirteen. And yeah, yeah. Advantage. Oh yeah, you can do it again. Oh, take, advantage. Oh, take yeah. it with advantage. Whoa. No, what's that? No, it's try out it again. of the tray. That's a 20. If it gets they out of the tray, down. they can't see it. If it gets out of the tray, it's a 20. This isn't like Beyblades. One more game. Bigger than 13. Beyblades. Oh, <laughs> this is Beyblades. Okay, let's do it. It's like <clears throat> between your thumb and forefinger, mm -hmm. a moist and chewy uh, cylinder of yellow licorice. Oh. What? Okay. It's physically present. All right. It's like a glue stick, like a hot glue stick. Sure. God, I would have uh, That's for not the part that I'm better. in disbelief about. He just manifested yellow licorice. Is the chick? My what? God. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. Oh, the burdens of being a god. <laughs> Did he just? Where'd yeah. you pull that from? That's a weird trick. It's like a saffron licorice. He's not no. even paying attention. Just this like little murmuring, scared kid. He just takes the licorice and puts it in his mouth, <laughs> and he gets really close to his ear. And he says, "Don't you pray to me ever again." <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Dinar! Really shaking this kid's face. He's just che the chewing <laughs> is God. is reverent. Yeah. I have a feeling he's gonna pray to you again. <laughs> well, yeah. You reward it. it Seems to be yeah. exactly what he wanted. So. <clears throat> End scene. Uh, no, 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 no. We have a lot more to dig yeah. into here. Oh, don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll get to it. But the actual end scene is a hundred other children <laughs> kneeled fervently <laughs> in their beds. <laughs> yes. It's like, it's like uh, later after he leaves. Praying, and they're yeah, all like, yeah, what exactly. happened? This is a monster. He's like, I prayed for licorice and I got it. And they're like, oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, a pantheon uh, is being uh, shaken down. <laughs> Uh, by children for treats. Excellent. And it, I assume it's, it all rattles around in Dinar's head forever. Yeah, is that... I, I assume this happens later. Like a little bit later, not immediately, you after Dinar door. leaves. Yeah, like yeah. Like they're all like, no, exactly. what happened with that terrible thing that was in here? Yeah, yeah. how did the monster Granted my here. wish, <laughs> and then they're all like, ooh, monster grants licorice wishes? Well, I want to pray silently to you, because I don't believe this. So I'm going to be like, in my head, I, All right, so after we leave on the yeah, walk back? Yeah, so I'm looking at you. I'm like, none of that's real. And why would I? Because why you would, would I find break it. Into their you place? would find it hilarious to pretend you were a god. It was that's why. funny. It, it was with all funny. Him, but. That's true. So in my head, silently, I'm like making meaningful eye contact with you or trying to like look at you. And I'm like, all right, Vars Malis, if you're in there, <laughs> to tell me that I just said uh, primitive rock on tour. <laughs> Is this a, a legit enough prayer that it gets? No, I, Rosie has there. zero belief in anything, but she has seen Vars Malis in person, so she does know he's real at least. Okay, mm. so it he, comes he, through. Well, she knows that he grants Christmas wishes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Does it get? Yeah, but does uh, it go through? It's a, and it, does it yeah. go through? Yeah. All right. And then Very my loud. knees buckle. <laughs> I bent over. And what did you say? <laughs> what did you want him to say? <laughs> Mm, my real god would have listened. <laughs> <laughs> Primitive rock and tour, just just Primitive the phrase. Rocket. Yeah, Pickles, but it's even funnier. It's Pickles even rocks and four. Rosie, I couldn't hear it. <laughs> yeah. it's why too did loud. you? Why <laughs> did you? I don't know how to say that. <laughs> it's even funnier if he's like, "What did you want me to say?" Pickles yeah, and yeah. rocks and rock and rock and rock and roll. Pickle rock and roll. <laughs> oh shit! Stop That's talking to me. Close. This is a fun power. <laughs> I get, but, and then I go. Seriously, where'd you pull that licorice from earlier? Yeah, because I was it. Were you like palming it? Was it like close-up magic? Is this like a new thing? <laughs> it's whole now. Yeah. It's new character development. I stole it from one of the other kids. <laughs> <laughs> you say that? Yeah. And one like goes, 
Oh. Ow. <laughs> that sounds like you. No, this is real. This is real. <clears throat> it just real? happened. This is the most unbelievable thing about what you've seen the last four years? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> it is. I, I think so. Yeah. There's you've seen... Something. You're hearing prayers. You my God, I am, <laughs> I am a conduit for Vars Malus. We've established this. You've seen Vars Malus. Yeah, but sure. I'm a conduit. And yeah, everybody here's a conduit. Nobody knows. Well, I'm better conduits than others. I don't know. I'm not here to judge you. Like, I, I, in I, I, my I godly my, grace, I am not here to judge. my hands over Kutris's ears. So, <laughs> they can so, hear you. So yeah, so but when Walnut says, I mean, I'm a conduit, you get a flash. So you are essentially ringing and just raw from this entire exchange. Yeah. <clears throat> when she says, I mean, I'm a conduit, just like casting it off uh, from her forehead, mm -hmm. you see like just a momentary flash of like black glass antlers <laughs> extending from both sides and then a like a black glass horn in the center. Cool. Like a crown, but this crown is like four feet across at the top. Yeah. And it's a, but it's a flash. It's just an instant of it. Yeah. Anyway, you don't hear me yelling about it. All <laughs> I've seen Hannibal. <laughs> I, I know the vid image. Um, I go, yeah, I'm a conduit. I don't hear prayers. Well, maybe we're not as good a conduit as me. I don't know. A oh, very good conduit. We've all seen it. Okay. She's well, a good conduit. Uh, all hey, right. She's hey. A good conduit. Look, there's degrees of good conduit. That's all. Dear Vars Bayless, <laughs> please send me even more trees. Uh, Nar will love. And then she just. I can't even act on that one. No. <laughs> just rolling around. <laughs> just right in the middle of the I'm just street. Just finding, throwing seeds. <laughs> There'll be trees plan, eventually. Plan them. <laughs> it's just, it's, you know, it's a long, it's a long term investment. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so, uh, the next morning, uh, the first of two deliveries is accepted. Oh, oh. Waiting at the door like a dog. Oh, it's right out front. <laughs> um, the first of two deliveries is uh, received. Uh, this is a very, uh, uh, very simple. The cart itself is. It looks as though there's like nothing of import. Like it looks like the sort of cart you wouldn't put an important thing on. That's how they get you. Right? <clears throat> and so uh, when the driver arrives, ask me what his name is. No. <laughs> <laughs> Season four. We don't care about know. names. No, yeah. no, what is care. it? It's Hasten What's the name on the side of the Say cart? It again? It's Hasten Prowl. Oh. Hasten Prowl. Yeah, it's on the cart proprietor. Mm. Um, anyway, he uh, out front, he gets out, uh, spares a moment uh, of affection for his horse, and then goes back underneath, because you can like, see this from the window, right? Mm -hmm. Goes back underneath the wheels, and withdraws a package from underneath the cart. Ooh. I go, oh, that's how you know it's the good stuff. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, and he, uh, he brings it out and then uh, just like reaches out and like opens the door with his elbow, uh, steps in and he says, Walnut Dongrass? That's me. That's me. Is there a walnut? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't, I don't care. No, it's me. <laughs> It's her. And I, it, I okay. elbow my way over you. You're not, be, you're not being shy? It's like... <laughs> no, it's really her. It's really, really important that this go to the right person. I'm just kidding. I <laughs> am Walnut Dongrass of the Enclave Panax Anima giving my well, I package... I just, okay, I just need the first part. Like that's... I don't need the rest of it. Acquisition Incorporated. Rank 3. Documents are... Perfect. This is all great. <laughs> don't you need credentials? Seems like you're holding something really important. Anyone who says their name is Walnut, you're just gonna give an important thing to? <clears throat> He's like... If you're not Walnut, and I'm telling you this to be cool, sure. Don't open this. <laughs> oh. Find Walnut. Okay. And have them open it. Okay. We can do that. Yeah. Don't do it. Well, I'm Walnut, so it's okay. Or is she? He's like, give me a couple minutes to get away. 
You'll be fine. I'm Walnut. None of these. He runs out. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Go pet your horse. I can't. I can't. <clears throat> I gotta do it. Gets out. Harmless pranks. Amazon Prime material. Oh, there's something there. There's, there's oh, something there. There's something, something there. <laughs> I like it. There's something there. I like it. Yeah, that was a good one. No. Um, okay. Yes. I've got the package. Exactly. Um, inside the package. Uh, I didn't say I opened it. <laughs> oh. Outside the package. <laughs> no, no. I, she tears into it. It's like it's Christmas morning. <laughs> um, no, go into Mostly wolf form. Teeth, yes. And then. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, waste of weapon. <clears throat> um, Jerry, come on. Uh, the, the, the sack itself is. There's a sack involved? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, it's Valentine's Day. Um, there is a. It's like a burlap. It's like a very simple burlap sack. Okay. Uh, interleaved occasionally with like shining threads. Maybe every two to three inches, mm -hmm. uh, there is something about this that belies its common material. Incredible. Uh, I got a lot of stuff like that, so let's just let's just go into it. More. You got more uh, bags to describe. Oh man, no, no. Like Come George on, man. R. R. Martin, but about bags. the bags. But for bags <laughs> instead of food, yeah. <laughs> for bags. There is there is there is a scene in the first book where someone's hungry. Yeah. Like a woman is hungry. Yeah. And then she eats a piece of beef, and beef juice. Yeah. Runs down her arm into her dress, and I was just like, I don't know how much more of this I can read. Like, <laughs> every banquet. I was like, now if this was a bag. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Now if it was a bag, I'm in. Yeah, Please. every banquet chapter, I'm like, I can skip the first half of this. They're just going to be talking about the various kinds of turkey legs are there. Inside, are there any people in your family, actual person, not walnut, oh. uh, that do embroidery? Yes. Okay, so you, if I said embroidery hoop, oh, yeah. you would know exactly what I meant. I do. So imagine that you have, that you are now in possession of... A hoop skirt. Yeah, of a, of a multi, a multi-hoop, uh, except imagine, imagine like the premium version. Like imagine if like a Hublot made a, uh, made a embroidery hoop. Okay. For the, for the finest. What's, what's Hublot? Imagine a, uh, imagine a, uh, Le Bouton oh. uh, embroidery hoop. Thank you. And okay. that's basically what you have. <clears throat> Here are the distinctions. Okay. So there is both an inner ring. Yeah. As well as an outer ring. Sure. At the base, yes. at the base where you would tighten such a hoop. Yes. Uh, that has something like a, uh, a locking mechanism on it. Okay. And then there are two more different mechanisms to the left and right. Mm. So imagine okay. if you hold it, uh, there's two separate ones up here mm -hmm. and then a distinct one down here. Okay. Uh, and you have been told to wait for, uh, because you'll soon be in receipt of the equipment required to uh, operate the device. Um, so I hold it like this <clears throat> and I go. The hairs on the front of your arms uh, rise. Um. And I go, you know, I don't know if anybody else should touch this. I don't even know if you should look at it. <laughs> and I go, it's kind of doing a lot for me. Yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot. There is a weird, you get the weird sense that it's just connected to something else. Even mm -hmm. when it's just in space. You get the sense, have you ever played with a... Ring fit? Uh, God, Ring Fit is so cool. <laughs> I, I play the fuck out of... squeezing it? No. Ugh, I play the fuck out of Ring Fit. I have Ronya wear the leg part, and then I hold the other thing. I set him off. That's not <clears throat> how it's supposed to be done. No, I don't think so, but we both have a good time. So, <laughs> That's so sweet. So the way that it... The way that it um, uh, have you ever played with a gyroscope? Oh, yeah. And, like, twisted a gyroscope in space? Yeah. That's how it moves through space. Ooh. It moves through space as though... Uh, Riding some invisible geometry. It isn't like you can't take it where you want it to go. It's just stable. But you have to encourage it's it sometimes. Like hitches yeah, okay. That yeah. On occasion. It is Could very it stable. Through. Yeah, like an invisible ring puzzle type thing. Ooh. Great. This is presumably the planar synchronous. You hope. Because if it's not, <laughs> you're curious about what that might be. Yeah, seriously. Walnut is just like taken with it. It's like. Wow. Yeah, it's just like you're steering the universe. Yeah, as you're doing this, I'm like, huh, steering hoop. A steering hoop. I think that's got, that's got legs. No. <laughs> or wheels. 
Or wheels, maybe. Now, legs. <laughs> now, dog, right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like looking at you through like, it, through trying it? to see if anything. That doesn't do anything. <laughs> That's doing it. nothing no! for me. I put my hand through and wave. <laughs> well, tries to take it away. Dinar puts his hand through and waves. That's fine. There's no. Oh, you don't have to. Does he incinerate him immediately mm-hmm. or anything? Mm-hmm. Is he, no, you're gonna mess it up. <laughs> Screw it. It needs to be through the ring. My hand is through the ring now. Stop it. I try to bite your hand. You know that it has to be calibrated. Palm your face. And then, because you've read the document, yes. you know that it has to be both calibrated, and then there's a sequence of three synchronizations mm-hmm. required to gain entree into the vault. So I'm you don't know. You don't wall. know what he's fucking with. There's right a cork now. board with red thread. It's very Pepe Sylvia. Sure. Yeah. He says, I'm like, I'm the only one that's read the manual on how this thing works. Stop touching it. We're going to get another delivery, and then that is going to work with this. It's going to be this whole thing. We're going to go to all these different places. You're going to love it, but we got to sit tight. And in the meantime, nobody touch it. Especially right. not you. I I no better than that. Yeah. <laughs> we should all be allowed to read the manual before we touch it. Everybody read the manual, but I already interpreted it, so I don't want to hear any more sass on yeah, the subject. Yeah, this is the this is the you have like the true gospel of the ring fit. Yes. Yeah. The ring fit. I say the scrolls over there. I'm done with it. I don't know that we get to read it. Actually, didn't it just reveal itself to you? It only yeah. Only yeah. You can or is it read now it. written? Yeah. No. But, yeah. But she goes like, yeah. Go ahead, read it. Yeah. I try to read it. No. No. This is nothing. This is a blank scroll. This is some kind of prank. That means we can do what we want. No. <laughs> and my hand stays inside the ring. No. Both hands That's not what it means. Both <laughs> hands are inside the ring now. What did it say for reward? I'm doing this. Uh, for reward? Yeah. On that, it does not indicate a reward. That's how are you know you it's a big me? reward. That's how you know it's a big one. Walnut. Gross. What? You are it. not this naive. That means that there is no reward. When there is no reward listed, that means there is no reward. But think of the prestige. We're already like getting S plus trick? missions. Yeah. I love that movie, though. Yeah. I, we're already getting S plus missions. What more can prestige buy us? <sighs> I mean, really, why do any of it? <laughs> Good point. <laughs> keep my hands in you the ring, what? trying to pull the ring you know away. What? That's yeah. nice. Well, it goes, keeps me up at night sometimes, but. Boy, so, but I love a new mission. But in that second that you hold it up, her see, there's nothing. As soon as it faces her, mm-hmm. you can start to see letters like through it. Mm. Wait. And I look at it again. It, it starts to fade out the farther away you pull it. I point it toward <clears throat> Walnut again. Ah, I can read it. I'm looking in the hoop too. Where will we see I'm not looking. letters? We're, we're looking at the scroll. Oh, okay. Uh, so the scroll indicates there's a lot of diagrams of the sort that Chris Straub would draw. Sure. Great. Um, and, <laughs> Same old shit. Uh, <laughs> but it, it basically, it breaks down uh, diagrammatically. There are basically two junk doors. That's the left and right side of the ring. Yeah. Um, and then it has what it calls the yoke. Which junk doors? Junk doors, which is the yoke is at the base of it. Um, and yeah. each, each junk door, it junk suggests, door. Um, requires um, what it describes as a spell of the fifth circle to uh, unlock. And it doesn't seem to be picky about what that spell is. Mm-hmm. Just that it's required to uh, loosen the cosmic jar. Oh, I see. Uh, and am I familiar with that terminology? Yeah, there's there's a lot of different ways to go at it. It's sort of like when you're playing an MMO and people describe your level in terms of seasons. Yeah, I see. Mm. So what is this? Fifth level? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Should have said that. Just, I never that's because they're nervous. <laughs> I never will. That's because they're nervous? Are they? Somebody's going to find out the secret. <laughs> but we can decode it. All right. <clears throat> well, anybody has them. I close my eyes. I go, stop reading the scroll. No, <laughs> yeah. no. no, no I have Nobody can read the same way. Do you, do you guys have fifth level spells? Oh, yeah. Big time. Yeah. Well, no. That must be nice. <laughs> Why not? How nice yeah. for you? I have second level spells. Why don't you have nothing? Because I'm a monk. I have got a third level, yeah. Monk. I'm monk. I got, I got, I got big time. But well, requ- I don't it, think it, it's just any fifth level spell. <laughs> it's going to require it, a specific one. It requires it requires a slab of beef. He just said no. A beef slab. He said spell also. the fifth circle, but not specific. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh. 
a slab mm -hmm. of beef. Just an expenditure of that level of focus and energy. Okay. Oof. Uh, Bust it out. See what happens. We gotta calibrate this puppy. Wait, I'm still mm -hmm. eating. There's there's the spell. There's beef. I've yeah. read enough. <laughs> <laughs> I get the gist. I, uh, yeah. bye, 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 I think you basically yeah, got yeah. it. Banquet. Yeah, <laughs> pieces running. I get it. Let's get to the oh, it's, it's one of these. All right, we're gonna okay. have to do a couple of spells. Uh, what are, are there other? Uh, you know, uh, prerequisites. The rest of the the rest of it requires uh, the second delivery, essentially. See. Uh, See. Is this and this tracks with what you read of the of how to use this device? Look at the wall, Kathris. But it's all <laughs> mostly <laughs> detailed. Uh, yeah, there's Every some beef. Scratch. Question mark? Question mark? <laughs> beef. There's some yeah. specific areas that the diagram does not cover, um, but it's mostly there. Okay. Uh oh. Well, I'll just pick a, a fifth level spell at random, probably summon greater demon, just to yeah. Shake it up, get yeah. Graven Man up in the mix. To see what that's about. No, I can do any one of these. A, a relaxing one. Somebody. <laughs> We're doing this right now? We're calibrating it. I a take my hands calming, off the ring. A calming yeah. gas. Yeah. I'm not going to be I here. Am, whoa! Oh, listen, wait, is it possible to, to cast Sending at the fifth level? <laughs> Does it do anything? That, well, you can, mo there's a lot of spells. Oh no! That you can spells. that you can goose. Well, I'm forced. You can to cast them at. I can only cast them at fifth level. So. <clears throat> you, can, you can sort into fifth if you need it. Yeah, Boop. it's never been easier. Boop. At the touch of a finger. At the touch of a finger. Thanks, DD Beyond. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, listen, everybody loves uh, fly. That's true. And uh, I actually don't know what what have we done that before with this new uh, with the uh, with this access to. We would have to. Earth. We would have to describe it. Yeah. Um, if we were if we were casting it um, to utilize its effect, but as it, as it stands, you're simply focusing it into this oh, I see. Uh, loom. Well, then I happily do so. I, I I take my traditional stance and and ready myself for the for that great lift okay. that I feel. <clears throat> you close your hand around right or left. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Which one you'll lose? Which one I want to lose? Uh. Because this wouldn't overthink it. Yeah. My right hand. Sure. Yep. Uh, <laughs> you close your hand around it, um, cast the spell. It's like you prepare your uh, stomach equivalent uh, for that moment of the grab. Uh, yeah, exactly. What I like to call it, the grab. Being sne being you know <laughs> seized. Um, and prestige. Yeah, exactly. And um, when your hand, when you remove your hand, that lock is gone. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Hey, nice work. And no, no flight. That's right. That's convenient. <laughs> it's gone. Wait, flight is gone. Fly is gone. What do you mean His gone? use of it is gone. Yeah, I spent it. Yeah. I see. I see. No, okay. gone for it. Did. <laughs> and never use it again. Yeah, you sacrificed you ate, that. You ate that spell. Yeah. And your hand's gone. Also, your hands. Yeah. And you're dead. <laughs> your hand flies <laughs> away. <laughs> it is, uh, yeah. Luckily, you can wave, right? Yeah, it's like, right? Guys, it's, you're always doing stuff like that, man. That's so you. You died as you lived. <laughs> it's ready. I've been feeling it was ready for a long time. <laughs> okay, so that's good. yeah. So it, it clearly, I mean, that that part clearly functions. I mean, of course, you're still waiting on a true calibration of this. Um, you know, of the aperture at the doorway of the right. drawing courtier, yeah. obviously requires the second part of the. We do, and there's another junk tour. The second delivery. Is that so? The second, the second junk tour and the yoke need the second delivery. Uh, it's, it's not another spell. It, 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 there's two locks it's that beat. require spells. Okay. And then there's, uh, and then there's just the yoke down at the bottom. Well, you got any uh, fifth level juice? What about yeah. that beef? Nice. Okay. Don't overstay the beef. Um, <laughs> Let's not skip over this <laughs> beef. Hey, where's the beef? I look at Dinar. And I narrow my eyes and put my hand on the loom and I just think about casting a nasty gias on him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. So what? A big one. What are you what? Nothing. No, but what is right. it? Yeah. Well, it's gonna get absorbed, but but we should know, and I think the Shadow Council would like to know what kind of uh what kind of uh, uh compulsion it's, it's you would put him on him. On his knees, <clears throat> out in front of one of the trees, uh groveling. To Maliki and Mela about how they are, they are <laughs> they're just like ever present, like <laughs> beings in his life that have given him nothing but good things, and he's never been grateful of them. 
Until now. Yeah. Until now. Um, nice. But I mean, it's it's super petty. It's like petty to the max. No, but yeah. it's, but it's like, uh, and you can feel it just sort of disappear underneath your uh, your hand. You're now holding the embroidery loom. Uh, it's held together exclusively by the the yoke at the base. But it's just like you can just taste it, like that that moment, that memory. Like, would have been good. I look at you what? and I just go, no, you yeah. got stuff all over your face. Whatever. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got you got it. <laughs> I'm a god. I'm a god. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Wait, it hurt? Yeah, big lunch. In the morning? <laughs> yeah, from yesterday. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's twisted, is what it is. Ooh. So, Ooh. <laughs> the burn. It's like, um. anyway, we'll, we'll discuss your asshole uh, during table talk. Yes, please. we will. Please do. Yes, um, we will. Finally. A whole at, campaign. At length. Yeah, I'm now prepared to announce. Uh, no, Brecken. So, um, uh, a few hours pass. Uh, you have an opportunity to uh, enjoy the comforts of home briefly mm. um, until a second cart uh, arrives, uh, separated by a few hours later the same day. What's this cart driver named? <clears throat> this cart driver is named. I wrote it down. Dar Bannock. Ho ho ho! Oh, Ooh, okay. Dar Bannock. Um, is he condescending like the last guy? Yep, same character. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> different cart. Yeah, it's it's the same Nichols. guy. Same character, different cart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thought we wouldn't notice. Um, so he gets in, and he is deeply, deeply proud. Uh, of he takes a lot of pride in this delivery. You can tell that he feels like a very special boy uh, for having been granted it. Um, and he brings in a uh, like a, just a lacquered, very very simple pine chest, mm. um, and uh, brings it in, sets it on a table. Um, then he says, "Walnut well, grass." Yes. Yes. Fuck. No. Which it's, one is it? It's me. It's it's her. It's really important that you tell. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All goes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, all of us. He says. For a hive mind. He says. Uh, <laughs> would you please uh, open the lid then? Yes, yeah, so I have the the ring fit in one hand, and then I <laughs> open the lid of the box. I like, like the, kind of carefully. The ring fit. Exactly. Inside that box is a bag. Uh, a okay. second box. metal case. Oh. Oh. Okay. And you can tell that he's delighted. I too am delighted. By this. Yeah. He's like a little excited about it. There's like a Christmas thing. I shoo him out the door. Yeah. No, this isn't for you. <laughs> get out of here, weirdo. Yeah, get out of here. This is our quest. This is unprofessional. Yeah. <clears throat> we got the package. He's Thanks. Like, you don't <laughs> stick around. Thanks. He's like, it's, uh, it's out the door it's, already. It's, <laughs> it's you can talk and walk. It's door to door service. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Go pet your horse. <laughs> Plus the other guy. I don't so, so he goes. He goes out, and you can see his. You can see his. Uh, his head peeking in the side of the window outside. Like <laughs> that's oh, fine. I close the curtain. No, your quest is over. Yeah, <laughs> your quest is over, weirdo. Get out of here. Um, Get out of here, dar. <laughs> so, Back. What was it? So uh, inside the uh, metal case. What? Well, there's a metal case. I open the metal case. Okay, great. Inside the metal case is. Uh, a third case. Uh, it looks like it's designed to be exactly the size of the interior of the metal case, and it's essentially like it looks like it's chipped out of uh, obsidian. Now hold on, should we open this one? Obsidian. Um, I think we're good for today. I think we're good. Yeah. No, I got two know. cases today. Okay. This is this is the one time. What's in the box? What you tell me she's okay. Box. You tell me she's okay. What's in the box? No. Walnut, um, tell me she's okay. Who is she? I keep asking and asking and you never tell me. It's a real ritual. Yeah. It's like we will Chewy. observe it. I tell open the obsidian okay. box. Fourth box. Inside the obsidian box, um, as soon as you as soon as you begin to raise the lid, there's a whistle almost of uh, 
like <laughs> winter wind through a a door frame. Ooh. Um, and like and it, it chills you. Um, as you open it up, you, you it looks almost like you are looking down into a um like into a diorama. Like a snow globe. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. But it's 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 very it's very clearly oh. delineated in this sort of like square mm. window. Like watery poop <clears throat> that you can look down. <laughs> and down inside uh like you can see a window mm-hmm. at the front of uh, a quaint cottage. Okay. Like a mm-hmm. log cabin type thing. And as you open the lid, you can see uh, a firelight sort of illuminate the window. Mm-hmm. Uh, very small, obviously. Yes. Down here. Um, and then you can see uh, someone looking up at you outside the window. And uh, you can see them putting on a heavy coat mm-hmm. inside the window. Gotta deal with this. <laughs> yeah. Giant person. Uh, and they trudge, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> and they, they trudge out uh, the main door, sort of like hold themselves uh, for warmth, um, and move out, and the little window seems to shift as they walk out toward a large uh, longhouse. Mm. Okay. Um, uh, he enters into the front, uh, opens the door, uh, goes inside, and uh, immediately after, uh, he rides this horse out, and the horse is dragging uh, an object that is about a foot in length mm-hmm. by your scale. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, okay. Uh, the wow. central core of it, it's imagine it's, it looks like a long tooth, almost, mm-hmm. and uh, but it's joined at the very center by a like a silver cylinder mm-hmm. that you think must twist into two pieces. Hmm. <clears throat> um, and he pulls it out through the snow, mm-hmm. um, decouples his horse, pats the horse, and it sort of walks back to the barn. And then he looks up at you expectantly. <laughs> I look down at him and I start to reach for the thing. The long thing, the tooth. See, he shouts as loud as he can, but it's hard to hear. Mm. Uh, yeah, but I have elven ears. Absolutely. Okay, so it, it gets caught by your elf quest ear. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Uh, no problem. I see you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it, gets, it gets caught and he says, one copper! It's fair. Um, I hear that, and I say, I can't believe I'm saying this, but we have to give one copper to the tiny little man in the box. Does it have to be okay. to scale? They're gonna have a no, huge copper. No time for that. Like, <laughs> so it, here, God. Oh, God. Please roll to attack. <laughs> oh no, tiny little man! Well, he asked, I'm giving you what he asked for. Uh, am I not a gracious god? 14. <laughs> I love it. Oh, what's your, <clears throat> what's your dexterity? Negative one. Negative one. Okay. You flip this in, and the coin goes, shing, 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 and flattens <laughs> the longhouse. Oh, oh my no. god. Was the horse in it? No, no, no. Okay. Not yet. The horse just stops. There's a bunch of families. And then yeah, walks yeah. over here. There's a bunch of kids. Yes. Horse. And then he just he just begins to swear. Ah shit. Ah shit. Shit. Ah shit. And I go, I go, so sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. 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 <laughs> Alright, I pick it up. You pick it up, put out, and then as you pick it up and remove it, they all shut. Um, so I'm holding this foot long tooth. Yeah? Yeah. Foot long tooth. Five dollar foot joined long. at the center uh, by a uh, uh, sort of a, a silver cylinder. Mm. Okay. And then I have this ring. See this move? No, no, yet again. Oh. Oh my God. Yeah, keeps coming back. All Season right. four. Yeah. Short I, tuck the, I tuck the hoop under my arm and yeah. I try to. I'm like, like this is <clears> 
Yeah, yeah exactly. Like this? You've seen it. Yeah. And it, it's <laughs> smooth. Uh, okay. you, you separate it into two parts. Yeah. And inside, it is completely empty. This whole time I've been teaching you how to open the key, now I can die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Both sides are empty. of this container are empty. <gasps> there is no key. And just outside the front door, from Dar Bannock, looking into the front room, he says, Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Shadow Council, uh, Mayor Labors, please you. Season four, motherfuckers. Season four! Uh, we're gonna be right back uh, with Table Talk, as you may recall. Uh, but until then, don't go nowhere.